You are listening to the Hello Sport Podcast. What's up, punters and dribblers? Um, so I've been, uh, well, I wasn't on about even this morning, and I once everything was all sorted, I got a yarn for you. Once I knew everything was okay, I then opted to just, like, hold the fucking yarn so that I could tell you for the first time. I've got no idea. You've got no idea. Other than, going. other than. I sent you a message this morning. Other than you couldn't family do emergency. the show, family emergency, and you'd gone. Pretty etch. And you'd, co- you'd, you'd covered some Ks. Yeah. Serious Ks. Texted ya. Family emergency. Pretty fucking etch. Everyone's okay. Yeah. That was all I That got. was it. Can't do the show. You know, I'm sure some people will accuse me of elaborate fucking, uh, you know, cover ups just to try and avoid a show where I assume <laughs> my punting was awful. It was awful, mate, but the show was really about Rue, to yeah, be honest. good. I'm like, actually disappointed I missed that show. Like, you're fucking dog shit. Well, exactly. There's In no... the context of that show, it's like, I'm a footnote. And obviously, you know, you get shit for being fucking awful, but yeah. like, you know, no more than you usually I hope do. I didn't get shit for not being there, though, which I'm sure I did. You didn't. No, 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 you actually didn't. You got shit for being shit. If you didn't get shit for not being there. Well, that's good. And anyway. you can check the tapes. But again, it was about the Rue. I it wasn't about you. Tapes. But, congratulations to Rue, um... So my wife, Stephanie, and my two daughters went away to Boomerang Beach Tuesday morning. Yeah. One of Steph's friends and her, her daughters. School holidays. They're going to like a nice little getaway to like Steph's friend's parents' house, Boomerang Beach. Three and a half hours away. Steph and her were just sort of working and parenting. And I was like, okay, sweet. Daddy's going to have a little fucking bachelor night. You know, he's going to sit home, maybe like an... Order out some, order some takeaway, have a red wine. You were pumped for that though. Fucking oath I was. You were pumped yesterday. I dropped you home. Yeah. Kid was stinging. Mate, I barely moved. I just fucking. What'd you get? Uh, I got a pizza. <laughs> on that Trattoria. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Glass of red. Into bed early, but then fucked around in bed, you know, like a bit of bloody uh, 360, a bit of bloody, you know, look at the team list and shit. What time did you go to bed? Sleep. <sighs> 11. Right, so, so not thought, only. Well, no, in bed, in, in bed at 8.30. That doesn't count. I know, but I'm just painting the picture. I'm right. not saying, I'm okay. not, there's no, there's yeah, no, yeah. no I just agenda wanted, here. No, just context. Um, I wake up at 3 o'clock to my neighbour banging on my window, going, Steph's on the phone, Steph's on the phone, get up. And I'm like, holy fuck, like what? That's worst case scenario. This can't be good. Well, it's not, it's not going to be, did you check the fucking... Exactly. Is the I'm, oven off? I'm like, why the fuck's Hans, 84 years young, knocking on my window? Like, what the fuck? I get to the front door. <laughs> He's got hearing aids, so I'm trying to talk to him, but his hearing aids are Bluetooth to the phone. And I'm like, I can't hear a fucking thing, Hans. What's going on? And he's like, hold on. I'm going to hear Steph in his ear. And I'm. he's kind of smiling, and I'm like, because of the confusion, but I'm like, this is. there's no way there's something funny going on here, so like... I'm starting to get a little pissed off at Hans, which I shouldn't. Shout out to him. Anyway, well, he's got out of bed at 3.30. He's got the To come and help me out. Yeah. We've woken him up. Anyway, so Steph has awoken in Boomerang Beach. She's in bed. Beach house, like slat doors and shit, so you can see light coming through it. And she just hears a noise in the living room. And she's like, geez, what the fuck's that? Hears more noise. Starts seeing lights flashing around out there. She's like, wait, what the fuck's going on? Then can hear people walking around in the living in the living room. She's paralyzed with fear. Again, like in the wake of fucking everything that happened in Bondi, just like frozen. Got the two girls in the room with her. Then her bedroom door just opens. Oh, fucking two dudes walk in with balaclavas. One's holding a golf club. The other one's holding a fucking screwdriver. Again, wake of fucking... Bondi has no idea what's going on. They walk in, they just start looking at her and the girls, and she's just like, holy fuck. Holy Was she God. with the girls? Zoe's in a cot, Evie's in bed next to her. Yeah. She's just like, please don't wake them up. Like, just please, nothing. They walk in, they're looking at her. Again, fucking ballies. And then walk over to her bags and shit and just start rifling through her shit. So they know she's awake? No, they don't. So she says she sees the door open a little bit. She just doesn't do anything. Yeah. And then it goes a little bit more. Yeah. She doesn't do anything. Yeah. And then it goes all the way. Yeah. So, like, that's obviously the way they do it. Like, do I get a reaction? Do I get a reaction? Do I get a reaction? Test, test, test. 
But she sees the whole thing. Fuck, she's yeah, she's yeah, like yeah, yeah, someone, yeah. and she was going to get up. Yeah. She was going to get up, and then she was like, she said for some reason it was just like, don't get up, just yep. just fucking don't get up. Yep. They fucking go through her bags, then back out into the living room. She's just like, what the fuck? This is all like over the period of like 10, 15 minutes. She's frantically trying to message me. Like, here's the address, call the police. How long were they in the room for? Uh, I don't know how long they were in her room for, but they're in the house for like 10 minutes. Right. And then she's frantically trying to message me because she doesn't want to, like them to know that she's trying to call. The- First, she's trying to call the police. Yep. And there's a fuck all reception there, so it's just the f- calls aren't going through, calls aren't going through. Even emergency? I thought emergency was supposed to fucking go through don't anyway. Know, dude. Eventually tries to call me. My phone is on, like, silent because I'm in bed. Yeah. 19 missed calls I woke up to. And fucking, it, and the message going, people are in the house, please fucking. Oh, like, my God. P- please, please call the police. This is the address. Please fucking do it. Then they leave her, they leave the room. And then uh, grab her bag, I guess, like out, which was out in the living room, out the fucking front door, which apparently that opened while, so they've broken in through a window. Was the window window unlocked or they smashed it? No, 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 they popped a fucking fly screen off. And then, you know, there's like glass, like slats and they can, you sort of like have a little lever and they can flip up and flip down. Yes, yes. They fucking knew what they were doing, just ripped them all, ripped a bunch of them off and just walked in. And then the fucking around in the living room before they came into her room was, them having a door open, so if something happens, they can They're just out. bounce straight yeah. away. Yeah. So anyway, they car grab keys, it. car gone, car gone, car gone, oh, car gone. Oh, no, car's gone, car's gone, car's gone, all gone, 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 car's gone. Oh no! What the fuck? Car's Holy gone. fuck! Car's gone. The cops come around and they're like, they said to. Uh, was, were they looking for the keys for the car? Yeah. yeah. So I got a BMW. I had one. Uh, and they said that they, in that area, fucking like younger kids, like 16, 17, 18, they go around and just opportunistically look for cars that are like a, that you can fang. That's and what they fucking do in Mossman. That's, that's what, exactly the same it, right? thing. The same, same situation. Thing. And they've seen this fucking car sitting there, the garage open. Like the gate, not the garage. There's a gate there, and well, it sounded like could have opened the gate anyway, right? Well, no, this is like a beep, 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 beep. Oh, the gate was closed. Oh, story. okay. Um, anyway, that's doesn't matter. Um, but so they've taken the car. The, the thing that <laughs> the cops come around, then Steph's like, they've taken our car. This is what it is, and they've gone. Oh fuck! We just had a call for another break in around the corner, like literally. So they go back out, they see these guys driving in our car, go after them, and they start chasing these cunts, try to try to throw road spikes down that they evade, and then they get up to 200, they're going 200k in a 60 zone. The cop's like, we can't chase them. Like, at some point, you have to fucking stop chasing them because they're going so quick. This is... What the fuck? So the cops come back. This is outrageous. Yeah. The cops come back, and they go... Um, Listen, this is like a thing. This is this fucking. This happens a lot around here. They take cars that they like want to have a bit of fun in. They go and try and do a bunch of robberies with them. Usually, you would have been on the first like cab off the rank. They go and flog the fuck out of your car, and then they're just going to go and burn it out somewhere. Not necessarily. Listen, I still we haven't found until there's a fucking burnt out car. I hold out hope. You know what? You've got to hold out hope. Mine was fucking same thing. Boys pick it up, looking for cars. Mine was easy because it was unlocked, but like they break into houses and well, fucking- Well, was easy, had the fucking keys. And get the keys, well, get the keys, and they just left it in Mount Druitt. Yeah. Listen. So we, you got to hold out hope. You, you got to hold out hope, but- So, I, um, at 3.30, jumped in the car. Drove you didn't have a car. That's a great point. I didn't have a car. At 3.30, I jumped in an Uber to my mother-in-law's house, and I got her car, which has two baby seats. So she ro- she woke up? Yeah, well, I called my mum first. She only had one baby seat, so I'm like, fuck, call Steph's mum. She's got two. Head over there, get the car. She's like, I'll drive. I'll go, I'll go. I'm like, it's all good, thank you. I'm going to go. 
So then I embark on the three and a half hour fucking drive to Boomerang Beach. Not a short drive when you're stressed. And well, uh, mate, when you when I talked to you this morning and you said Boomerang Beach, I had it in my head that Boomerang was like Central Coast. I'm like, that's a fucking while away. And Ella's like, dude, Boomerang Beach is near Foster. It's fucking ages yeah, away. Yeah, Tari vibes. Yeah. Tari teens, Tari kids coming and fucking robbing houses, stealing cars. Um, so how are the, how's the fam? Fuck is it. Steph the girls have no idea And keep it that way Yes Steph's completely yeah. fucking rattled She's yeah. been in tears all day like, Well of course Mate Ella would be Yeah Complete mess Yeah Yeah So Like It's pretty fucked eh Like Just to think about how Like That's just gonna f- Scar her yes. For the longest time Like Having Dudes Like people In the fucking room With like Weapons. Yeah, I feel fucking terrible for her because yeah. she's not going to get over that. No. That's going to fuck her up. Yeah. And it's going to be like Paranoia, paranoia City. Paranoia City. Thankfully, at our house, we've got like locked grates on fucking. It's going to make her, it's going to make an Airbnb hard again. Seriously, she's like, I'm not going anywhere where you're not there. Yeah. Now, I'd love to go out and confront three fucking robbers in Balaclavas, but uh, I'm saying that sarcastically in case anyone couldn't pick up on that. I'm not trying to be big daddy tough cunt over here. I would have uh, not been stoked with that outcome. But anyway, that's sort of it. We wait now. They were doing fingerprints of the fucking window, but they think you're wearing gloves. They they said, like, if we find the car and it's not burnt out, then that'll be your best shot. Fucking, she got a DM from from a guy who was, like, around the corner going, hey, we found all your cards just ditched. So just threw them out the window. Just took her wallet and just ditched it. No, it was near the, the other house they were trying to rob. So the next house they tried to rob. Oh, they 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 kept going, bro. They did our house, their house, the house of the girls, right? Then they went to this other house. The dad who was in that house got up and fucking chased them out of the house. Then I don't. At some point, they've ditched all of the shit in Steph's wallet and just took her wallet. And then this guy's DM served me like all your wallet, all your fucking cards and everything are like in a ditch around here, at like a building site. Get around there to go pick them up as we're driving back to Sydney. Lo and behold, who's to find them but a fucking dribbler? Get fucked. You wouldn't happen to be related to Tom Birmingham, would you? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Fuck, the dribbler are out there, the bro. The dribblers are just helping us out. Shout out to that Shout guy. Shout out to the dribbler. Shout out to that guy who's just DM me misses with the cards and got them back. Otherwise, we were, you know, just another bit of admin. Well, it's a, on top of load, finding a new car. Fuckload of admin. If ever I've That's a fucking... Hell of a yarn. Yep. Yep. So that that's me morning. I've had... Because I've been... It's been like doing my head in trying to work mm-hmm. out what's happened. Yeah. I... I've obviously fucking had theories, but that wasn't like... That wasn't top of the list. Yep. Wasn't top of the list. That's for fucking that's, damn sure. Yeah. So that's... How, so what did you tell the girls about the car? Did you tell them I it got stolen? It, no, 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 no. Not at all. I said it was sick and it's gone to the mechanic and it's like the mechanic is a car doctor. Oh. They're like, oh, okay, cool. That's very like, yeah, sweet. stop working. They're like, why? Someone just came to pick it up. But it's funny because you, <laughs> yeah, driving up there, Steph was like, for the first time ever, she was like, for whatever reason, they named the car. And like the car had never had a name in the fucking two years we've had it or whatever. What'd they name it? It was called like CC or some shit. And they're like, let's go CC. And like CC was fucking trying to beat cars on the road. And now CC, again, we've never... Is it not anthropomorphized? What is it when you like make something? Yeah. Like fucking, is that what it is? That's the, that's the word. We've never anthropomorphized the car ever. And now that we have, we have now like a member of the family that's missing. Or that's sick. Fucking hell. That's just fucking awful. I'm so sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah, dude. Particularly for poor Steph. Listen, so, more than to anything. To be honest, the car's, like, and the car's actually not the fucking... Mate, the car's... Like, we cars, were like, fucking cars who gets, gives a Cars shit. get stuck. It happens. We were like, who gives a fuck about the car? Honestly... It was like it's them, being the, it's them being in the fucking room. Them, and thank God that that's all they were there for. And Steph said it. She's like, now that I know that that's all it was, was just fucking pieces of shit coming in to, you know, knock some stuff off and bounce. Like, it's, it's, all, it's all good now. But she's like, I cannot tell you just the paralyzing fear of being in bed with your two kids and just knowing you have absolutely, like, zero options. Like, you're just at the... Absolute fucking whim of whatever these fucking cunts are gonna do. So that's fucked. That's fucked. That's horrible. I um, I am obviously 
uh, it's unfortunate that I missed 19 distress calls, and I'm not joking, 19 of them. Um, was your phone on silent? It was just on vibrate. It, I reckon fucking, I remember, because when you called me this morning, and I, then I imagine three in the morning, I'm like, fuck, if someone called me at three in the morning, I wouldn't know, because my phone's on silent. But I'm yours gonna, is on like a do not disturb. No, but I'm going to change it so that like certain people can call yeah. me. Yeah. I should yeah. be doing that as well. I'm going to have my, my, my parents, my fucking... Me? You're going to have me on there? You and my parents a lot. Well, like, you know, you got to have, like, a friend, I think, as well. I think so. Also, because, I mean, like, you know, I might want to call you at three in the morning. You know? Unlikely. But it, it's like, it was a reminder that, oh, I fucking, I probably shouldn't have my fucking phone. Ella you, puts hers on airplane mode because yeah. she's so worried about um, signals. wi fis and all that sort of shit. She's worried about fucking Well, we see the head. same doctor. She t- I've been told the same. Well, no, Ch- Charlie T.A. was like, get that shit away from your head. Well, that too. That too. He's like, that shit's fucked. Do not charge a phone next to your head mm. under any circumstances. That's it's what I do every you. night. No good. Okay. Absolutely not. I'll stop that. Thank you, Mr. T.O. Um, so. Anyway, I've had like. That a- is so fucked up. Yeah. And I cannot tell you how fucking petrified Ella is going to be when she hears that story. And she's obviously. Like, again, I'm not trying to fucking diminish how fucked that would be for Steph. No, but no, no. That's it's like, going to wig Ella. Of course. The fuck of course out. it will. Well, I already. Like, we've already. You've already told me, like, Ella's fucking. That's. I mean, you've she's got. She's paranoid fucking, as fuck. Why do you think I've got. Why do you think I have a Rottweiler? Yeah. Yeah. There is one reason. And one reason alone that I have one, and yeah. it's for fucking what we exactly what we're fucking talking about. When I'm not in the house, he sleeps on the bed. Yeah, well, for, for shit like this. Maybe now I'll be able to convince Steph to let us get a dog. Although I don't know what a golden retriever is going to do, lick an intruder to death. Uh, Fuck, that's so etched, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That so, is so etched, so etched, so etched. That is worst nightmare stuff. Seriously. People in your fucking house wearing balaclavas, bro. Yeah. Your daughter's next to you. Yeah. No men around. Obviously, like, we, we can... It's okay to say that. We can do slightly more. It's okay to say that. It's fine to say that. She was saying that. Yeah. Woo, baby. Yeah, no dude. one you need a tequila. That I is tequila. so I've, etch. I've been... I've slept like Thoughts and prayers to Tommy, please, punters and dribblers. That's um, so fucked. I'm on three... Really long, long. Were you laps. wigging out on the way up, or were you feeling alright because the fucking cops were there and shit? Mate, once I well, the cops were there, and then the cops went to chase him, and then Steph was left in the house by like not by herself, but her friend she was with was like asleep again. I don't know how the fuck she went back to sleep. Steph's like sitting there awake, looking at the fucking broken window that they've like come in through, and just couldn't sleep. And so I'm driving up, not really that worried. I'm like, I don't think these fuckers are coming back. I think it was they just wanted to steal a car, and. But, so no, if I'd woken up and to those text messages, I would have, like, that would have been the most panicked fucking... Oh, that's... I was panicked reading him for the first time, even once I'd seen, like, once I'd spoken to her. You know what I mean? Like... Yes. Anyway, as I said, three... Was that, was, uh, was, was your neighbour, was he a home phone operator? No, no, is no. Is that the, is that, you know what I mean? No, well, I mean, I'm sure they've got a landline, but he came over with his mobile, Bluetooth to his ears, um... Fuck a duck, eh? Not good, but very v- quite common. Yeah, almost shit myself on the drive home. Quite common. Apparently, it's a fucking real problem. No, that's what the, the cops were like. Yeah, yeah, this happens all the fucking time. And they if go they to the house get, and go. People are like, you got to have your fucking keys in the bedroom and shit now. Like that, that would have stopped. Well, no, you need to have a fucking fire poker next to your bed. If you, if if we find the car, they were saying like. They could thrash this fucker so hard that it would be written off, even if they don't crash it. Well, they thrashed they they thrashed uh, my old girl. Mm. I think they were doing two hundred down the fucking wrong side of the road. That's how they lost the cops. Yeah, went to the other side of the highway. Yeah, as we know, I had fucking like fifteen grand worth of fines mm. because they were giving it to her. It's fine. I, so um, we need there needs to be that's, they're saying some like, hope. That yeah, they were saying like they're just going to go do doughies and you know burnouts and fucking do all this shit. I'm like maybe maybe not. But even if they are, like, are you gonna, can you ride a car off like that? Like you have to be fucking doing some serious doughies. Maybe maybe not. Maybe maybe not. Because to burn a fucking car, you gotta get fuel. You gotta jerry can. Can you be fucked? Maybe. No, I mean. I mean, not to set it on fire. I mean, I mean, just mean to ruin it through like burnouts and fucking They're, and high speed. Can you really fuck a car? Well, up I don't. I, I mean, how I, much burnouts and doughies are you going to have to be doing? I don't know what the like if 
maybe it is that the cops in that part of the world are like every car we find that's been stolen has been thrashed to death. Yeah. So maybe it is a case of 100% of cars get thrashed. Get thrashed in this area. To death. Tar 18s, 100% Will thrash, thrash to death. Yeah. 100% thrash rate. Maybe that's the case. But it seems unlikely to me that every car thrashed to death. Again, a guess. Yeah. That's a guess. It's a rugby league guess. It's a fucking rugby league guess. Anyway, shout out to those dudes who um, who did that. Thank you, you little fuckers. I also am like, are these pieces of shit mainly doing it for fun? Because you're not really like, I'm assuming there's not a lot of, like, oh, these cars just get burnt out, right? They're just doing it for thrill. Like, is that, it's hard for me to get in the mind of a person who, that level of thrill seeking. Like, I can understand without wanting to do it, skydiving. Or, like, fucking even driving fast cars. But, like, I would I fucking hate that shit. But are you, like, getting kicks out of, like, let's break into this fucking house? Or, or do they look for a car that's fucking got some go about it so that they can go and rob houses and, and get, get away. away? Is it a getaway car? Or is it, this is going to make me sound old, for street cred? <laughs> yeah, is this so they can race for pinks? <laughs> Potentially. Potentially. Oh, I don't know um, if my car's necessarily a race for pinks. Anyway, we'll work out what happens with it. Yeah. But I have a friend that can find your cars quickly, should you require one. Yeah, and I mean, listen, if ever there was a time for Big Ute to reach out, it's been, big def- Ute, it's it's been now, definitely quiet. Nah, big Ute, it's now time. It's been definitely it's quiet. It's now time, Big Ute. Big Ute, it's now time. It's now time to, to, to stand the fuck up and deliver for a family in need, Big Ute. Like, what a story this is. Even, even if it's on a... Uh, a loan. It's a loan to you. Loan me a Ute. <laughs> I'll post a couple of stories cool. to my, to my 6,000 Instagram hey, followers. Yeah, yeah, I hope yeah, that'll yeah. tip you over the... Over well, the we line. can put a couple on Allo Sport. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. We'll, t- we'll sweeten the deal for you. That's me being like, I won't even ask for half. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's yeah. just a nice guy like that. Nah, that's a really... That's just a guy helping out his mate. You know, you know what, what I mean? mean? He's like, helping I, just, I was just helping him out in that. Helping know? out his brother. Obviously, two would be better. Um, we're not going to get back into the Ute... You, uh, uh, the begging for Ute's business, but it's just... Well, know, it's it, it, listen, it's happened, right? It's happened. It, what's happened has happened. We wouldn't have done it again had this not happened. We'd actually made a promise. It wasn't even a promise, but no. we'd said to each other, we're not doing it again. Well, because we don't want to... Like, at some point, clearly, they're not... They're well, not you answer. start reeking of it, mate. Yeah, you do. You start reeking of it. But... You know, desperate times, desperate measures sort of stuff. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll keep you all posted on the um, the outcome there, where we get to. But fuck those guys. Um, fuck them. Um, but, like, that's just life, unfortunately. It's a scat, scat story. Yeah. But I can't see... I can't see hooligans stop being hooligans anytime. No, so. listen, I don't think me talking about it here today... Uh, I don't think that's going to have any bearing on whether hooligans stop being hooligans. Unfortunately. No. Punters and Dribblers, as always, brought to you by the multivitamin of choice. Yeah, goddamn. Goddamn, good day. I wanted to, So we are at the Hacker Major the other day, yeah, Friday. We were. Yep. And out of nowhere, the great and powerful Drow Yayi comes up to me and goes, check this out. Opens his little satchel and he's got, he's got the sachets of good day with him. He's like, bro, I love it. Now, this is... I'm, I'm, I'm co-opting a, a famous Dral Yaye to promote our product, but the man had sachets of good day in his thing, and he goes, dude, I fucking love it. The man's I got, take it with me everywhere. He's got good days on his person. On his person, because he's down from, from Queensland for the hacker, and I think maybe he's going back Saturday or Sunday, and he's like, I didn't want to miss out on me good day. What a great man. I was like, I know that it's good, and I know that it does good, and I know that people like it, but like, it's still... It's still like, I don't know, blows me away. And you're like, Gerald's like, and using it like, that's what you, that's what the benefit of this thing is. You can take the sachets with you on the road and still have a good day. It's just good stuff. One of, one of Queensland's favourite sons. Yeah, dude. Carrying around sachets of good day on his person. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Now, it, it's, not, uh, it's not a sexist product, punters and jubblers, because women love it too. They do. Now, Shout listen to, to this. Always a good day. As a single mum of two young kids, I'm in a constant state of exhaustion. I've been taking good day for two weeks now and I can feel the difference. I've got more pep in my step and motivation to do things. Plus, I'm more tolerant. Love it. 
It's his and hers, dude. So, like, then I know I'm pretty sure, like, Street and Koo are both having it now. It's his and hers. Then one more, which I loved. I've found Good Day to be a great addition to my daily routine. Easy, tastes great, seems to improve daily energy and mood. However, opinions aside, I have cold heart unbiased data. Since taking Good Day, how it has improved my sleep by around one hour every night. The chart from my sleep tracking shows the last week of sleep duration and only since taking Good Day have I strung multiple weeks of hitting my sleep targets to get together. This goes back three years. Repeat customer, very impressed. So basically, he's been tracking his sleep for the last few years. Fucking hell. Uh, the green bar indicates sleep duration met and blue, it's unmet. It's mostly blue. In fact, it's almost all blue except for a couple of greens. Then he starts getting on his good day and he goes, bang, green, bang, green, bang, green. That's just, it's undeniable. It is unfucking deniable There's so many benefits that you can get from having a good day every day. Begoodhealth.com.au, code is dribblers, 20% off. Get it up, yeah. And spread the good word. As I was saying, three long, long blacks. One on the way, one at the fucking turn before I come back. Then one stopping at Macca's on the way back. So that's three long blacks. How was morale in the car? You on throw the way in back? a good day, dude. I was a, I was a, a big old poo tornado waiting to happen. And where'd you, where'd you thrash? Well, I did. I thrashed. If you want to talk about thrashing, you want to talk about like writing something off. My asshole was written off today. Uh, one at the 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 residence yep. that was robbed. And then another, another like frantic dash to a fucking petrol station on the way home. <laughs> Whereabouts? Yeah. Do you do you remember where you were? Uh, near the knock. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Toronto knock area. Yep. Had to sort of take a, a turn off around there. <laughs> um, Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, tell you what else was fucking. You know what? Not even. You know what the most disappointing part of this whole thing was, Eddie. And this might sound like. You know, I've got my uh, I've got my sort of my wires crossed here. You know, I've placed the importance in the wrong area. I disagree. But from Bondi Beach to Boomerang Beach and that direction specifically, not a single McDonald's drive through. It was the only thing keeping me going. There is no because they closed the Maccas outside of, of yeah they did it's just Hungry Jacks it's Hungry Jacks well they, they I refused I was like no I know fuck well you can't. well yeah huge coup yeah an incredible coup couldn't you just have both Porkina lost well no both? no I think I think that it's like it's it's one man one ship because uh, the other side of the robe same area is now a Hungry Jacks as well so Hungry Jacks has walked into town. I was under the impression... Did we have this conversation with someone No, we recently? haven't. We haven't. So basically, the one I'm talking about, punters and dribblers, I'm going to give you some context because you're going to, you'd be sitting there going, what where are you, are you where, fucking where talking are about? M1. M1, probably 20 mm. minutes, half an hour north of Gosford. The twin servos at Wyong. Twin servers at Wyong. They're on opposite sides of the highway. Used to be a Macca's. There was also like one of those um, fresh food, yeah, bullshitty yeah, yeah. joints in there. It's not fresh, but we've got a green sign. So no one eats there. Ella made me once and I'm like, I'm never, I, I would no. refuse. Here's I go, a salad bowl that was made six weeks ago. Not happening. I was under the impression that was the busiest McDonald's in New South Wales. I've also, no. I've also been told that the Macca's at Lithgow is the busiest. I thought it was Sutton Forest one. Like Goulburn, Goulburn or Sutton Forest, where that's where you got the big fucking one on either side. Sutton Forest? I think it's Sutton Forest. It's that way. It's south. But it's the one where there's a highway. Maybe it's to it's to it's Sutton Forest or Goulburn, where on the highway there's one it's on Goulburn. both sides. And Go, that's Goulburn. That's Goulburn. The M1 to get more traffic, but that's when it, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. What's happened is the Maccas are gone Hungry Jacks in. But I mean, I just don't when, know. How. When was the last time anyone has, like, put it this way, have you ever had Hungry Jacks in the morning for breakfast? Anyone here? That's a different story. You got it for Cody. breakfast? But you, and we were talking about this before. Cody do you know what his mattress do you know People what his, are asking Do you know Cody what his bed frame is? Do you know what his bed frame is? Milk crates. 50 growlers. Are you serious? It just rattles every time he gets on the bed. Clink, 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 clink. So you sound like you're sleeping in one of those glass bins. So a bloke that sleeps on empty growlers, do we trust him as to his opinion uh, as to whether or not Hungry Jack's breakfast is good or not? No, because it's not. It's fucking dog shit. I don't even know they did breakfast. That's how bad. Well, it is. listen. Obviously, uh, we don't want to completely burn any future uh, opportunities to. Did I say Hungry Jack's? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did I say Hungry Jack's? But. 
I will say this, Eddie. You can – hell will freeze over before I choose Hungry Jacks for breakfast. It'll freeze but there's the a, fuck But there's over. a Macca's at Newey. Dude, not not where not the ro- not the route that I was taking. So the Mac is at Newey, other side of the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's so a but there's a big there's a big. Um, dude, I'm on I'm on my way. You got to you get, you can't misery you, to happiness today. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I'm not crossing the road to get Mac. That's fair. That, hey, you know what I mean? like, that's fair. I that's need fair it. enough. I need it on my side. That's fair enough. I pull in. I pull out. I'm good. I don't want a Yui, Then back and then and back now. Well, so so if it wasn't a life or death situation. There used to be there used to be three Maccas. Including Tare. It was that one. There's one at fucking uh what's it called? It's not Newcastle. You'll get it up for me, maybe Tobler. Like that area where there's a KFC and shit. I don't know what you're gonna be able to Google, but I've made a I got another thing to say. It. I don't know if this would be classed as But now there's now there's this one or two. Because they took that one out at Wyong. That's just ridiculous, bro. I don't know if this would be classed as punching down. It's not meant to be, and it's more a country town thing or like regional town thing, which I remind the punter and dribbler is where I hail from. Whether you think barrel regional enough or not, that's not the point. Driving through like, maybe even just all drive throughs at Maccas, but certainly like regional drive throughs and you're looking through the drive through window, sometimes it looks like a circus freak show in there in terms of the people like working behind the scenes. Is that mean? Is that mean? <laughs> I just uh, today it was like every different type of character I've ever seen in my life, and it's listen. It's it's re, it's the it's regional youth. And it's they, a it reg, it's regional youth. It's regional youth, and regional youth grows into itself. Well, of course it does. I was regional youth. You were regional youth. It, you, it's there's something about being a regional youth where you you don't necessarily, yeah, your limbs grow longer than you quicker than your body. Sort of thing, you know. Teens, what I mean? late, like obviously, people working at McDonald's traditionally are usually not always, but like a lot of the time, seem to be teenagers, which is absolutely fine. It's but good. Teenage, That's what's but good teenagers, but teenagers, teenagers, on on the average, it's an ugly age. <laughs> It, it's just it's, in terms of in terms of your body, limmy, your dude. body's your body's not quite found its feet. No, and I'm generalising here. Not quite found its feet. Acne's fucking turned up to say good day. Oily face is just giving you grief. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're, you're not experimenting you're not, with dyed hair. You're not you're not heaps confident. It's the age of the goth. Let's yes, not forget dude. that the emo is a teenager. Dude, there's a lot of goths in the fucking your, Macca's your, your brain your brain comes alive and you start to digest your, your world around you, and that can be overwhelming for some people. So maybe maybe uh, you, you go to work with fucking huge spacer earrings. Like yes. things happen in your teens. It's a melting pot of like awkward teenage energy. In, Again, in hand in the air. Late teenage years, nineteen. Edward Simpson. You'd find him at DefCon wearing a dog tag and a singlet and a bum bag. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I yeah. get awkward teen. Yeah. I wasn't a goth. I wasn't a spacey guy. But I've lived my own life. I've lived my own teen teen years. Listen, there's photos out there of me in a fedora. I'm not going to lie. They're, they're, that's teenage. They're shit. They're out there. That's teenage. I shit. I was him. That. <laughs> that's teenage shit. Yeah. So yeah. There's photos out there of me with a goatee. You know what I mean? They're I out there. It. I tried it. We they're all tried out, they're it. out there. And I would not have looked out of place if you're peering through the McDonald's drive through window where they do an exemplary job. I, you keep me coming back, but it looks like a travelling circus sometimes. It's 10 years. And, and you throw a bit of regional spice in there. <laughs> And sh- and shout out to my my regional pals, I'm, brothers like, and sisters. My brothers and sisters. You know the love I've got for you. You know you know the love I've got for that part of the world. But you know what we're like growing up. You know what we're like. You know what we're like coming. You, you know, know, you what, know like. what we're like coming up. You know. You know. You know what we're like. You know. We're festy cunts. <laughs> I worked at Macca's when I was 15. There we go. Long hair and fake spats. There, there we go. go. Steph so I was at one as well. There we go. Did like, Jarch work at Marcus? Well, he was, only, was Limmy. That kid I was, was only limmy. remarking the other day after I saw him being Benny Benchwood. I'm like, he's got so much hotter even from then. Yeah. That and even, Benny Benchwood was so much hotter from bro, his teen was, yeah. years. Well, he looked his teen Crazy. years, he was a grasshopper. Disgusting. He was a big body and then just Foul like... Foul-looking bloke. He was a praying mantis, dude. Foul-looking bloke. He's still a bit praying mantis now, but at least he's one... 
you know, he's, he's filled in. He's filled in. He's, he's grown into his body. He's definitely filled in. Um, he's definitely. Filled so in. I just want to make sure that's not. It's not a punching down. It's not a. No. Not, but like the regional McDonald's uh, employee mm. circus shit. Anyway, <laughs> it was disappointing that there was only one, and it was on the way back. But you best believe. I felt like I'd earned two sausage and egg McMuffins with hash browns that they didn't give me. Not a big deal. Prepared to forgive it because I love McDonald's. Did you nug up? Didn't nug up. I felt like that was a bit Didn't much. nug up buttercup. Mate, well, after what you've gone through? Yeah, but I did. Nothing's off the table, I know, buddy. but like... Nothing's off the table? But when I come to like save the day... Sort of a bit late, oh, you know. Geez, to drive know. back hey, is and save, save the day. The right. well, I did put in quotation marks <laughs> for anyone who's just listening. But when I come to be like, you know, don't worry anymore. I'm here. We're safe now. Yep. To then go and like cover myself in McDonald's on the way home, I think was like I was you've also. Been, you've always been a stress eater, so I'd forgive it. Oh, listen, that's the that, uh, and you're dead right. Thank God there wasn't, you know, Easter eggs around last night when I found out about it. I would have had a basket with me in the bloody Uber on the way to Steph's mum's place. <laughs> fucking pounding eggs on the way. Thank God they're all out of the house. <laughs> I would have no, like an Easter bunny. Well, Easter was long ago, mate. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Easter Fuck, Steph could be ago. hiding them in the house and I find them. Anyway, I felt, I felt like it was also mixed with the three long blacks. I knew what I was dealing with. I felt the rumbles. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be concerned. Well, you, you feel a rumble. You know, dude. Especially like, after three LBs yeah. into, a, uh, into a GD. That's yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah. Into an S&E, DOS. Times two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... That is... That's trouble. That is... Pound Town yeah. stuff. Also half a cheeseburger from Zoe. Again, I mean, listen, when he said he th he'd fucking thrash the ring, he yeah, meant it. Yeah, dude, no, I thrashed it. It was like a fucking witch's, you bleeding witch's down there? cauldron. No, mate. We're in, listen, good day keeps everything fucking tickety boo. Yeah, but no, I meant more from the I meant more from the position of... Thrashing. Red thrashing lining. into uh, a shit ply. A weak ply, one ply, nah, it was rough, right. on the, rough on the nose. You can counteract, uh, you can counteract poor ply by just sheer quantity. So as in, you make disagree. It multiple I disagree. That listen, no, you know how it gets rough. Yeah, but I mean, it depends. How, I mean, it it depends what well, I guess what you're doing. Like if you got to wipe a hundred times, or if you have diarrhea, <laughs> then the ply is important. Yep. If this is one poo or two in my case. Ply ain't an issue. Do you know what I'm saying? Yep. It's a frequency thing with ply. Like tissues, dude. You got a nice Kleenex on you, hay fever. You blow all day. It's gonna, well, it's going to take you at least a day's worth of hay fever or, or you know, a cold. Or vid. Or vid before the Kleenex starts to leave a rash. Completely agree. Anyway, Completely agree. got back, had a little snooze about 20 minutes and then came came in here. So, Mate, we've... Um You've been able to hold down the fort without me. We've held down the fort. We've held down the fort pretty well today, haven't we, boys? Yes is all round. Yep. Yep. Yes is all round. Yes is all round. Uh, we did. I. It's obviously last Thursday. We talked about Tobler's care for care for the the plant. Mm. Or lack thereof. Or we'll lack thereof. His love for the planet. And I took it upon myself. To start manning the ship mm. because of the cost of a of a fern or a palm rather, not cheap. These are different to the previous ones. Again, if you're listening, then this will make no sense. Yes, they are. So we checked the tapes today. I said a palm from our good friends at Flower Power. Yeah. What I'd found is the last ones we had were of a different variation, but before that we'd usually got the same thing. It's called like a golden palm which is what we've been running. And the golden palm looks all right. These are slightly different again. A very close cousin of the golden palm, mm. but willing to try something else. I like them. They they're, look nice. They're quite nice. Uh, was, is there any background for these palms in terms of um, their ability or willingness to go all day? Like, so I get in there. Do they need sun so every I, second so I, so I went in there and I just started. They've actually got little tags on them. So I started ripping them out and having a fucking read. Seeing what was what. The golden palm is a good indoor palm. It's not, it's, and that's the one that we've had, except last time, we were golden the whole time. They're, they're, they're pretty good. 
they're, they're not a bad palm, but they can do shade and they can do full sun. They can do both. This one says that it enjoys indoor filtered light. Okay. Doesn't get a shitload of filtered light. So I'm going to have to move him around. I'm going to have to show him love. Yeah, you will. Tobler's concern is that he thinks it's the building, and that may well be so. As in, like, the vibes? The, 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 the he juju? Thinks, it he could thinks, be vibe-based. He thinks it's potentially vibe-based, and th- and that's why the bet stands. Yeah, apparently plants fucking pick up on vibes. Apparently they, they, they grow better when they, they play good music. You're going down on that thing, eh? Well, I'm just like, you know. Are you fucking... I don't know if there's, you're not going to fuck that plant, are you? I we didn't come in here early enough and we found you just like dig a little hole in the base hey, of that whatever it, whatever soil. It, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. I respect that. Very salt burn of you, Ed. Whatever it takes, dude. I'll fuck a plant to get a W. <laughs> but like putting him out in the sun, <laughs> that's not reinventing the wheel. I tried that. Exactly. I, I know, food, buddy. I, I know. I know. So I'm interested to see hard, what though. difference we checked. So we in. checked the tapes. Uh, Cody Totes and I, the guy over there that loves tape bags. Yep. And... People are calling for him to get his own mic. I'm not against it. I'm not against I it. I reckon we get him his own mic. But that's another day. That's another conversation and not important. Not right now. We check the tapes. The plants, the one, the surviving one that's outside getting a bit of sunlight at the moment was trimmed to death by Tobler. Like, he was hanging on by a thread. Oh, his his, did you trim it back? We looked no, at it. As I said to Eddie, if you've got he a He was dead making toe, out like it was like in foot, the best nick of all you time. You chop it off. Was it? It was in bloody good nick. But like bloody if you've got good Nick? What, I'd Cody say was that's it, bloody good. Cody Nick. was it in bloody good Nick? Well, no. Pretty As pretty I said Nick. to Eddie earlier, it's so easy to convince yourself that the palms look good until you see what they were before. Yeah. And once you see that, it's like right. Okay, dying. so you went back and looked at what they were. Yeah, and he well, cut, I mean, your cut, one looked fucking disgraceful. No, but you're, even the one behind you, he'd cut fifty limbs off. It was so thin. Okay. Compared, oh, really? Remember when they the came in? They were off. thick as fuck. Yeah, they were thick. Yeah, yeah, they were thick. They almost were too thick. That's how thick they were. So these are so now we're back to golden palms. You've now no, not golden, grown. not golden. Kentia, Kentia, Kentia palm. So from today, eight weeks today. What's seventeenth of April? You've got eight, eight rugby weeks. league weeks. Eight rugby league weeks. Uh, what is the date of the finishing point for that top lot? Just get that up so we know. And it'll be Wednesday, the twelfth of June. And just twelfth so, of June, I will be thirty-five by then, which is great. Uh, really exciting stuff. I'll be two days into my thirty-fifth year. Um, actually, thirty-sixth year. Uh, etch. What happens here? And I just because obviously I am a uh, I am neutral here, right? I'm in the middle of this thing. I'm in the middle of a of a, of a battlefield. What happens if? Because, I mean, obviously, if these just keep rip-roaring and they're killing it, right? Like, they're going great guns. We're riding high. We're flying high. If they start to die mid, let's say, by week four. Oh, I can, you, I, no, got I've, got, I've got eight back, weeks. Right? Yeah, I've got, got eight, eight weeks. I've got eight, got eight weeks. Yeah, of course sweet. I do. Okay, cool, mate. I'm just, just trying yeah. to get the parameters clear so that we know what's no, going no, on. No, it's no. It's, 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 it's palms after eight. Palms after eight. That's what it is. And they have to be... This good, or they just have to be as good as his? No, it's as good as his, and his has been cut to buggy, but still looks okay. Okay, sweet. Because yeah, they, so they don't need to be videos. as good. Because the bet is that they have to be as good as when we bought them, because mm. that's not the case. No, 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 that's fair. No, that wasn't what was said. No, it wasn't what was said, and we checked the tapes, and they were luscious behind us, yep. and no longer lush. Who then, I th- like, who then is the decider? If three votes. Okay, three votes. And yeah. and but I but like a bet's a bet. We've shaken on this, and we're doing our best either side. He's done his best. He doesn't think it can be done. I'm going to try to do my best. You can't fuck either of us. It just no, needs no, to no. be. No, no, no. It's about. It's, you got to be uh, objective and down the line. Hundred percent. And you can't help him either. No. As if I'm going to fucking help him. I'm happy whatever happens here. Yeah. Like you get a tart that Cody draws. He has a rinse through his fucking hair and his beard for three weeks. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm fucking happy with either outcome, so that's fine by me. I'm not helping either of you cunts. Um, okay, that's the parameters. There we go. There we go. So Palm they're in, down. and they're feeling the love. Oh yeah. No, See you can the love. You better not fuck that plant, dude. I draw the line at fucking it. Punters and dribblers, as always, brought to you by the great and powerful punting platform that is Neds, who are out there at the hacker with us on Friday. It was great to. 
you know, hang out with the team. Great team. Great team. Great team, great people. Great energy. Good to, good to meet the people that are sort of behind the product. Yeah. You know? And maybe they didn't design it. Maybe they didn't build it. Listen, maybe, but they're part of the team. They're figureheads. They're figureheads. And it's good to know that Ned's, which is the, the best punting app in the country, has great people working for it. That's all I'm going to say. Yep. Does that make sense? No, that does. It'd be disappointing if they were... You know, assholes. Assholes, they, exactly. Which they weren't. But they weren't. Great and that's, people. Exactly. So then it's, it just makes a lot more sense. Yeah. It all makes sense because good people do good things. Good things. Uh, we like having a good people. Yep. <laughs> now, <laughs> full disclosure, I'm awful at gambling at the moment. I'm in a, I'm as cold as the Arctic in the middle of the night on a windy, chilly night. In winter. In winter. Um, on a windy, chilly on night. On a windy, chilly night in winter. That's Tom. Yeah. That's Tommy Berms in Antarctica. Southern but Aussie hero. You can follow along on the Ned's app with all the, on the profiles. Follow along our profiles. You can see what we're betting on. You can see how bad they are. Sometimes you might see some you like. We get one every once in a while. If you follow Guru, you would have had a good one on the weekend. Oh, you would have had a you would have had a real good one. You had an absolute jam. But Ned's are with us on about even the number one betting show. They're the big supporters of us here at Hello Sport. There's something coming up in Magic Round. That's all I'll say. That's what we call a, a tease in the... That's a tease. That's a tease. May 16th, 17th. Whatever the Friday is. Something's coming. Something's coming. Something big's coming. Something huge is coming. So just keep that. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Keep in mind. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on screen or visit the website. There's a few things going on. Um, James Fisher-Harris... To the Waz. Yeah, bro. That's big. Huge. That's big. Letting him go early. That's Two big. years early. I as mean, in that early. Also, golden boot winner James Fisher-Harris, New Zealand captain James Fisher-Harris. Like, and at a point where the, the Panthers don't exactly have like a, oh, we have now can go into the market and get someone good or like, oh, it's all right, we'll just hold on to another one of our players. Like, it feels like they've let everyone go that they had to let go of. To keep everyone, you know what I mean? We don't know who Lua's, they've got. Well, like Luai's gone. I'm obviously I'm not saying you necessarily, but like there was they didn't have money to keep Luai, so they let Luai go. Yeah, they didn't well, have money to keep Critter. The problem is, Tom, when you make four grand finals in a row and win three of them in a row, mm. you, you, your players just go up the fucking value. Yeah, but they've been able to at least in the back row and centers just keep churning out goodness, gloriness. Yeah, that's not a word. Doesn't matter. Gloriness. I wonder if they've got someone in the pipe from from out that way, someone in the system, Tom. Maybe, maybe someone coming up. I feel like props take a little while to fucking come on, and I don't mean come on. I mean like come on. Terrell May, did you know about him? He's playing for the Roosters right now. Yeah, but like, but he's easy to sweat. I mean, yeah, I guess you're right. What's what my point? Here? My point I'm trying to make yeah. is like. They can sneak up on you. They can sneak and up on you. And you and I don't, I think we'll be honest with ourselves, don't watch enough junior footy to probably no, know. No, I'm not keeping my eye on up and coming props. I will. I heard they were potentially going for Stefano Uto Command. Is that right? Who has something, some clause in his contract. Good to see the large Toblerone back there, Tobler. Um Stefano has a clause in his contract. If the Tigers don't make the top eight, I think he can leave. There you go. So, obviously, Adam Fedor Blake going to the Sharks next year. They need to replace him. They have. Fucking oath they have. Incredibly. Like, the Waz are, the Waz are getting after it. So, these are Warriors signing since 2023, as per Matty the Waterboy. Since 2023? Yep. Since 2023, as per Matty the Waterboy on his Instagram. Obviously, shout out to Matty. Roger Tuovasa Shek, James Fisher Harris, Charles Nickel Clockstar, Chan, uh, Chanel Harris Tavita, Tamare Martin, Kurt Capewell, Mara, Marada Nikura, yeah, Nia Nia Kura. Dylan Walker, Mitch Barnett, Luke Metcalf, and Jackson Ford. It's pretty good. It is. Some of those are re signings, so I feel like they're a little less, it's like less impressive in the sense of like they're signings, but they're already there, a lot of them. So, like, whereas I think like, Fisher Harris, um, Fisher Harris, Roger coming back. Chanel was Chanel playing for the Dolphins. Wasn't was Chance? Wasn't Chance on one of the Raiders? Chance is already there. That's what I mean. Chance made. When did he leave the Raiders? Made fucking a couple of years ago. He was at the Warriors last year, which was twenty twenty three. So he was already there. So really, would have been signed twenty twenty two if that's when he came. Like, like 
I don't like. I mean, it's still good. I'm not sure. They've, they're, their recruitment and retention is what you would say because rete- it's all important. But it just read that to me. Read like fuck. They're signing all these new guys. Luke Metcalf's another one they re-signed. But their recruitment and retention is off the fucking chain. If I can use a a hip saying, you can. Is that I'll cool? allow it. Cody, a Cody totes. You know that's off the chain, bro. Um, Mate, I'm fucking pumped for the Waz, dude. Like, same. Even though they stole a draw off us. Well, they stole a draw, which is uncouth. We all know that. But they're not going to win the comp because we will. But I like a Waz doing well. Was I'm, Sean I'm, Johnson in there? Did he re-sign recently or did I make that up? He's not on the list. So Dylan Walker was there since 2023. That's what I mean. It's just a re- it's recruitment and retention. It read like that was their new signings. Um, but they, they just, they're a good rugby league team. They've got... They've got class across the park, Eddie. They've managed to fit in some like they've got a they're a real like they're a real uh, bricks and cement team. They've got the star bricks, you know, and they've got a they've got a fair few st- bricks in that side. They've got a couple. They've the got party, a couple. They're the stars. They've, they've got, got a cement players. They've got a couple of bricks, and and a fair bit of cement. Yeah, <laughs> they're a uh, they're a top four side. And they've got they've got cement that's becoming brick. Like you could, uh, Mitch Barnett's being spoken about in Origin circles now. He was just cement before then. He was respect. He didn't look anything like a brick. You could say Kirk Catewell was a brick, an Origin. He's brick. gone back to cement. Well, he's maybe part brick, part cement now. He's be, he's he's going he's going back to the wall. If it's so, yeah, he might be. He might, he, might be term. Yeah, he might be being absor- absorbed, reabsorbed by the wall. I think he's been reabsorbed. But by again, the wall. that's okay because then you have the emergence of a fucking Barnett Nia Cora, again, a great player. You wouldn't call him a brick. You but would it, not call. But him is a he brick. turning into one, Tom? Jazz Tavanga, is he a brick? No. He's great. he's a great bit of cement, though. He'll hold a fucking wall together. Tell you who's becoming a brick that was fucking cement. Wade Egan with a Y. Yeah. Wade doing a job. Wade's Wade's brick city. Wade Wade's doing an a origin job. Luke, Luke Metcalf's been rock solid. Luke Metcalf, brick. But he was a sorry, cement. But it, he was cement that everyone <laughs> believed. Brick. I'm like, wow. No, not a that brick. That is outrageous. I, <laughs> I retract that statement. But he's got brick in him. If he, he he gets injured too often, future brick maybe, could, maybe. Mate, Luke Metcalf is a good rugby league footballer. He is a good, honest bricky's brick. He's a brick. Yeah. Well, he's got bricky in him. He's got bricky. Yeah. In if him. he's not a brick, he's, he knows how to move him. He knows how to move him. He's got one of those fucking. You know what I mean? Picks still him up. the most phenomenal for anyone who hasn't you know worked on a job site like me and Eddie have, particularly me. Um, I've never been more blown away by an apparatus than that thing that allows you to pick up six bricks at once. It's honestly, it's a nod to human ingenuity and like when is I that s- called the Bricky's claw? I fucking wouldn't have a clue. It's I just a was brick carrier on Total Tools' website. Total Tools, every tool, every trade. Bricky's claw sounds better. It does. Um, Chan's doing a job back there. Char- back there well, you again, know? Ch- Chan's. I would say. When is did Chan's leave the Raiders? Twenty twenty two. I'm going to say start. Yeah. So 2023 counts? 2023 counts? It counts. Recruitment and retention. Because Dylan Walker was not there last year. Jackson Ford, cement. When did Dylan Walker start there? 2022? 2022 or 2023. So maybe it was 2023. Listen. But you would do him walk at twenty three. But do you so sign, hang on? But do you sign him in twenty three? Or no, is no, it no. He, he's talking about when they start. Okay. So everyone there started in twenty twenty three. Is that correct? When did Mitch Barnett start? Jackson Ford. Yeah, that actually might be right. So Mitch Barnett so must Jackson have been last Ford, year. So this is everything in twenty twenty three on. So Maddie, it is correct. Maddie, Maddie, apologies, Maddie. We look apologize. at me. I officially want to extend an apology to you. I was wrong. I've had a fucking frantic last twelve hours. I've had no sleep. I'm blaming that rather than my own rugby league intelligence, which we know is exemplary. So but those, I still apologize those for of you screaming man. at the at the radio or the or the headphones for the last the ten radio, minutes at the AM at the wireless, we've made up for it. Yeah, listen, oh, no, it was 2023 as well. There yeah. you go. Blame blame the robbers. Blame the robbers. And blame me for not knowing. Yeah. No, nah, but you know you have, you've just heard the story. You were a bit frantic yourself. I get it. Um. So was healthy, healthy was was healthy healthy, healthy was and, and starting, a healthy was is a healthy rugby league, mate. Honestly, I I think that the was a healthy was Tom, the most important team to be healthy in the comp, yep. other than Manly, other than Manly, obviously. Sean Johnson just you like all the halfbacks in the NRL that are really good right now, outside of Naif, who is obviously Neo. 
um, are all old, essentially. Like you, they're all like, oh, I've, I've now, I'm so old that now the game slows down for me. I understand it. So, I'm this. I don't want this to. Say, I'm not. I don't want to come in controversial. I don't really. You know, it's not my mo. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not meaning to rough, ruffle feathers across the ditch, but. I've heard whispers that rugby union in New Zealand in a little bit of curry, a little bit of curry. Obviously, what? obviously, your old mates over here, Australian rugby, not doing any of the lifting, so there's no broadcast money over yeah. here. No, no money here. You, you know get, what I mean? You got you actually no got, cash. You got too cash. Good. No cash. It's funny, like even in. Even in loss, like even in being bad at rugby union, we still managed to like beat New Zealand rugby. Yes, like it was better for you guys. You, when it, we it, shit honestly, all over you. honestly, honestly, you could argue, you could argue that your that your utter dominance of us for twenty years has cre- created an environment where we're and I'm talking rugby league here. I'm just going to buy all your best players. Yes. Hey, be careful what you wish for because we just stopped caring. <laughs> Oh, okay, we just can't seem to win because you guys are so fucking good. How about this? How about we just stop giving a fuck? Now and you're like, oh, look, we got the bled as low. And where it was just, I, I, was, I used to look over and go, fuck, they want another bled. Fuck. Now I'm like, uh, try trans-Tasman test. You bitch. are New Zealand. And the, again, Aotearoa. My hey. dad was from there. My grandma, hey, my dude. grandfather. A beautiful, beautiful place. I'm devastated as well. They're simultaneously devastated. We are, we are, we are fucking connected at the hip, New Zealand and Australia. Anzacs, baby. Like we are, you, you, you join and fucking, we're, we're, we're joint. We're and we brothers are, and, and sisters. We're like those conjoined, we're those conjoined twin sisters, who are like, you know, especially us. We're conjoined Australia, New Zealand, right? And like you can't get rid of it. When when Australia fucks New Zealand, we feel it. But when New Zealand fucks Australia, we also feel it. Correct. But because we're so interlocked, if Australian rugby goes down the gurgler, so does Kiwi rugby on a certain level. Because unfortunately, in a world where professionalism rules supreme and money talks, baby, a population of four million doesn't really cut it. It's not going to cut the mustard, so to no. speak. And unfortunately, just stops caring. well, unfortunately, if you have got. A kid from South Auckland, right, who loves his rugby union football and dares to be an All Black, and old fat cat, Mister, you know, Mister CEO of the Broncos or CEO of the Roosters, goes over and goes, "How does fucking five hundred thousand dollars sound per year mm. as a seventeen-year-old?" Yeah, you go fuck the All Blacks, bro. Give me that cheddar. Yep. I've been living in fucking a two-bedroom house. There's ten of us. Yeah, you moonwalk out of the fucking. Rugby union set up. <laughs> you mean walk out. So, I, yeah, I didn't want to bring it up. All I'm saying is a healthy Warriors reflects a healthy rugby league. A healthy rugby league is bad business for rugby union. Now, I uh, I went for a run this morning, went to the cafe, got the paper, bang, front and back, 100 days, Tom, 100 days to the games. That snuck up on us. Yeah, it has. That snuck all the all the way up all on us. All the way up. Just a little bit of context, punters and jubblers, before I get to my point. I read today that at the World Champs last year in Tokyo, it was the first time since the 1956 Games in Melbourne that Australia had beaten America in the pool at an international event in terms of gold The world medals. champs was? So we come into the Olympic Games this year fucking piping hot. Piping hot. Like so hot that the pool may evaporate around the swimmers. Now, have you seen our opening ceremony get up? I glanced at it. Um, Do, would you like to run an eye over it with I an old mate right yeah, now? Yeah, I wouldn't mind running an eye over it. To be honest with you. Because you've mind. got to remember, Tom, this is what we're walking out in front of the world in. Mm. Yeah, this is how we are going to confront the world. So if I'm, if I'm, a, if I'm a little Dutch boy, that's not the right word, uh, <laughs> accent. I'm a little Dutch boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't it. And I see Australia, I'm like, okay. Tell me Dune Part 2 is already on TV. Oh my God, is it? Well, I was going to go to the movies Saturday night. Maybe not, not anymore. 
I'm a little Dutch boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so a little Dutch boy sitting at home and Australia walks out. I don't know who the bearer is, but... They don't think they've picked that yet. Well, of course not, but... Surely it's Ariane. Titmus? Surely. I don't reckon I'm going to be Mary Fowler. Sits out for the nation. I'm going to be Mary Fowler. <laughs> Mary F- oh, it could be Mary. I'm going to be Mary. I think it could be Tits, though, because she's Oh, you know, no, no, Jess Fox. Or... Jess Fox. Who's our greatest Fox. ever Olympian swimmer who's with uh, Cody Simpson? Cody Walker. Emma McKean. Ma- Emma McKean. Emma McKean. Cody Simpson? Emma McKean. Emma McKean. Could be her. I, I reckon it'll be Jess Fox. Why? Because she's won... Well, Emma McKean's won heaps of gold medals. She's won the most. Yeah, it'll be her. And it'll be her last games. I think it, it did Emma game. do it last time? Tobler, can you check that? Mm-hmm. If she's no, done it before... Who did, someone did it last time. Who did it last time? Um, Kate Campbell and Patty Mills. Swimming in basketball. So, okay. So okay. Go, maybe they go one from each. Give it to Garside, dude. No, it won't be Harry. What if it's a guy and a girl, though? It won't be Harry. Why? I don't think he's got the runs on the board. Ah, uh, he got a bronze. Now, maybe he needed gold, but, like, Paddy Mills didn't have anything. He had the NBA, but, like, he wasn't a fucking – he wasn't a medal winner. Harry, very, like, media man. You know, people know him. I – listen. Is there may- another guy you can think of? Maybe. Are they going to go two hey, swimmers? Hey, maybe. Maybe our boy fucking Rowan? I would love it. I would love for it to be Harry. I'm just – I'm trying to – I'm trying to – Read the room here. I do think that it'll be Emma in her last games, our most successful Olympian ever. She's overtaken the great Ian Thorpe. In terms of man, leave it with us. Let's have a look at this thing. I don't know about the skirt. Um, I was. You know what, Eddie? I hadn't properly... Um I hadn't probably consumed and digested what I was seeing before me, and I would tend to agree with you, I think. I don't hate it, though, now that I'm... I don't like jackets with shorts. Ever. I think it's fucking rogue behaviour. But I think they have to do it. Why know? the short? Well, what, are you in pants? Then they you look could, like you could wear a beautiful, breathy linen. Breezy, I would have used, but I get it. I'm a Dutch boy. I, um... I would have I <laughs> clip that up yeah, and just yeah, yeah, and yeah, just, just, just that. that's it. Yeah, I'm a Dutch boy. I'm a Dutch I'm a boy. boy. I'm a Dutch boy. <laughs> um, but uh, Tom, like, c- listen. C- no, what? let's get fair income. The shorts You've are got too a blaze- long. Tom, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Tobler, you're scrolling at the wrong time here. Yeah. Did we ask listen, you to scroll? Listen, Tom. Did we ask for a scroll, Tobler? Sorry. You're playing, fuck's sake. you're playing you're playing a very nice blazer. No issues with the blazer. The colour's a little off if, in my opinion. It's a bit it's a bit teal. It's too teal. It it's should a, be it's a touch it teal. It should be it should be green. It should be Is that green? Masters green. Is that green? That's teal, dude. That's teal. It also, be, that's exactly where we do our run swims. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. That is teal. Issue number one. Which Issue is number deal. two. The gentlemen, I'll go after them first, are wearing a fairly low-cut T-shirt with a coloured collar that's thin, played onto a short, played onto a white shoe. Mm. Pants aren't long. I just think we look a little bit... Daggy? Daggy. I think we're always going to look daggy. I actually think that there's a, there's a, there's a world where... You're always going to look daggy in whatever you're wearing pre-Olympics. I don't think so anyone like, looks Can we cool. compare other errors? Yeah, yeah. Um, careful over there, do you, do you honestly? Do you honestly, and, and when it comes to Olympics, I'll be the first to admit it. This is completely based on vibe and vibe alone, but the women of this nation hold us up. Fucking hope they do. You know, that's just the way it feels. It feels like every Olympic across speak, the board, generally across speaking, the board, generally yeah. speaking, it feels like we go into these Olympic games and Australian women fucking deliver. Our golden girls. Yeah. Well, why do we say that, Tom? Why do we say golden girls? Because they're fucking. Because they're golden. fucking golden. Back I, to are we? Are we happy with the skirt? I don't mind the skirt. I, I don't think, like no, it. No, no, no. You know what? I like the skirt because it's it's got the color. It's got the color palette, right? I think that. It's Do you got like the, the green bleed into the yellow like that? I don't that? mind it, looks- it, dude. I don't mind it. It's never going to be great, right? But it's got a bit about it. It's got the green. It's got the gold. It's got whatever the fuck that light, the cream It is. looks fucking weird. Nah, listen. I'm prepared to let that go. What I would say is back to the teal 
the teal blazer. Well, it's not green. It's not green. It's teal. It's Tom, it's teal, not green. It's as teal. I tell as you, teal can, gets. can you, can you? I tell you, what's a green jacket? Like an actual Aussie green. Look at the green on the skirt. What the what the test captains, both men and women, wear. Yeah, that's now, green. So, so that's so green. The 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 um. That's green. The uh, that's teal the trim, as fuck. The trim of the singlet and low slung t shirt that the men and women are wearing. But but what I what I would like to know, and if there if it exists out there, Tobler, then it will be uh, upon your uh, upon your broad shoulders to find it for us. Is that trim the green we're looking for? And if you were to compare that trim with the green of the jacket, you would have two different greens. And you'd be like, what the fuck? We couldn't colour match these things? We're going through our Tom, own colour match Tom, issues at the moment. The green, the green I want is who's captain of the nation now? Is it Alyssa Healy? Alyssa Healy and Patrick Cummins, who was just named wisdom cricketer in the best cricketer in the world. That's the green I want. That green. Yeah. Is that too much to ask for? I wouldn't have thought it was too much to ask. Tom, can I can I can I go a level further? Is that gold or is that yellow? Look. Let's be fair, Dinkum. Okay, what I would say is this, Edward. I would say that at points on that skirt, that is gold. And at other points on that skirt, given the transient nature of the colour bleeding, it, then well, it, it, it becomes it, it, yellow. Yeah, it, 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 it gold leads to yellow. Yeah. I don't Sorry, mind but a I, bit it, about it. The boys are bland as fuck. Tom, Respectfully. Can, Tom, can I ask you something? What colour does Australia wear? Green and gold. Yeah. But that could look way more jarring. See, I don't mind that. This was our 2020... 20 slash 2021. But this is oh, just that's not, No, no, no. This that's not, that's not this, We need ceremony. opening ceremony regalia. Yeah, right. Google opening ceremony regalia. I've never seen... that. Sometimes, like, I can't remember, but... Go Google Australian open ce opening ceremony regalia. Rega that... Jeez, did I just say that? He's got to put the opening ceremony in there. I, I did. Yeah, no, you're right. Okay, yuck. We never get it right. That's fucking foul as That's well. not us. By the years, like, you know. Yeah, I've got one. I'm just trying to find 2020. Go image. Oh, that's fucking rogue, dude. That's what we wore to Tokyo. That's, yeah, that's fucking air hostess. That's fucking disgusting. Look at the so belts and shit. That's improved. bad, dude. We've, we've improved. improved. That's fucked up. We've improved. That is fucking... Look at the belts, bro. That is disgusting with the jackets. Jackets and shorts is always tough. You tuck those shirts into a... Those jackets are grey. Wow. We've improved. We've improved. Shout out to Jess Fox right there, front and centre. Looking the fantastic. The only Olympian I could recognise there. No disrespect. No idea who the others are. Maybe no. the back right's a boxer. Looks vaguely familiar. Yeah, that would be what. Well, yeah. Um, and then we can go back. What's the two thousand? Oh, so that's twenty sixteen. Oh, yuck, dude. That's disgusting. Look at as those well. skirts, dude. Oh, we've we've. This might be the best we've ever done. Look at those shoes. What are you a fucking bowling alley? <laughs> Hang on. Can I just this let's just air, let's just stop for for a moment. Those who guys? the fuck are those people? Jess Fox again. Shout I know, out to her. I know. But who else is in there? Zoom in. I I, I recognise that dude at the back. It'll tell you. John here. O. Jenkins. Uh, he's like Jamie Dwyer. Okay, of of Hockey Roos fame. Hockey Roos, Yeah. Ed Jenkins. Jo Ed Jenkins. Charlotte Catholic. She was the sevens player. Shout oh, out to her. Can you zoom in on Charlotte? She doesn't even. I mean, how, what year is this? Charlotte. There she is. Catholic. Just said. Yeah. Right. So it's like fucking ten years ago. More. Who, zoom out again. Who's on the right there? It's, yeah, Jesus Christ. Anyway, keep going. Mm, so there's a oh, dude, a they're striped. Go up, no, 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 go up, go up. That I didn't realize they were striped. Oh, and they've got sunnies on. That's Looking foul. Real cool. That's foul. Looking real cool. I feel like Clavelli seems to be where they get the shots from. Who? That's Bondi, Tom. Oh, sorry. I'm in near the water. Uh, that Jenkins guy apparently has some. Some was something about him, but he's got a rose. Obviously, it's not as good as ours. But. He's also got dentures. Dentures? Or f you mean just fake teeth? Okay, what no, is No, what this? are they called? It's 2012. What are they called? This is 2020. Huh? 2012. Veneers. They're called veneers. This is better. See, at least, Tom, the that's green the proper green. Lauren Jackson just putting in some work there at all seven foot of her. Uh, and shout out to Libby Trickett. Knee Lenton. Knee Lenton. <laughs> Knee Lenton. That's Funny story about Libby Trickett. 
Uh, when my sister was 18, uh, her boyfriend at the time cheated on her with then Libby Lenton at schoolies. Is that right? Yeah. I've never forgiven her for it, obviously. Not her gold fault. does not actually... Her, not her fault. No, but listen, gold solves all. So in, in actual sense, I have... Gold her. solves all. I... When is that? What's that? Is that's Beijing. No, that's rogue. No, that's that's not opening ceremony, is it? The team uniform worn by Australian athletes when they walk into the national stadium oh at Beijing 2008. My. That is like that fucking disgusting. Girdle. It's blue. What is that metallic <laughs> belt? But it's blue. What are those jackets? We're not a blue nation. Jesus Christ. I'm all for the colour blue, but no, my we're, country we're, isn't we're, a blue country. No, 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 no. We're not blue. That's Finland stuff. That's disgusting. Wow. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. Okay, what year is this? Kai Hurst. That's 2008. Two, two, oh, so this must be the opening ceremony. That's one. Sportscraft Kai Hurst Dude, open water. What the is, Kai Hurst open water. That's mate. open water, Kai Hurst. What are we talking about there? That is... That's I'm off who's to Mr. The, Wong who's to in do the, bags who's, and drink red wine. Who, sorry, I'm getting very excited. Who's in the middle with a couple of buttons on? I would bet she doesn't. She's not an Olympian. <laughs> I was going to say good <laughs> That would be my bet. I could be wrong, but she's not dressed like anyone else. Are they being given silver like handbags and shit? Yes, they have because like they've both got them. With the Olympic rings on them. Oh, fuck. I'd love one of those handbags, dude. We've gone away from the tie. But like that, again, that's very corporate. Like, that's very corporate. That's handshakes. That's fucking... All I'm what's, sa- your, what's your portfolio? All I'm saying is that we've, we've seen a couple of ties historically and the women will go the uh, the next scarf. Those ties are fucking disgusting for starters. And I, if, if that's the tie we're offering up, then I think it's a smart move as a nation that we move away what from do you, the tie. What do, you think, what do you think of the... Uh, I'm not a... I'm not a dressmaker. Mm. That may shock... But the bottom of the skirt there's doing something. What oh is well, that? It, it frills out a little bit. It tapers, then it frills. It's f- fucking foul. Yeah, it's disgusting. And that is no, that is not to impugn the lovely women wearing the skirt. It is the skirt and the skirt's fault alone. The same way that those fucking intern at Macquarie Bank suits. Can I say uh, something? Are also disgusting. Can I say something? If I was. A little Dutch girl. <laughs> a little Dutch girl. <laughs> if I was a little Dutch girl <laughs> and I'm 26 and I'm a diver and I'm single, I'm fucking the shit out of open water Kai Hurst. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm, I mean, if I'm, a, if I'm an Australian boy who likes up boys as well, I'm also fucking Kai Hurst. I think How no fuckable is Kai Hurst? Dude, there? 2008... Macquarie Bank intern Kai Hurst, open water Kai <laughs> open, Hurst. No, no, open water. Dude, that guy is the the sexual fantasy of everyone at the Olympic Village. Throw an Australian accent there. I like to think that the open water is held pretty early in the, in the mix so he can get into his work late. Kai? Tell me there's a Y in that first name. Oh, it's just K-Y. How did oh! Kai... It's just oh! K. Oh, <laughs> two letters? K-Y? <laughs> Like KY Jelly, like baby. Like KY Jelly? Well, that's what he's going to be spackling on me. Yes, Kai Hurst. How did Kai Hurst go in the open water 2008? Give me some fucking results. And what's the open water held over? What dist? I'm going to say 10 of the best. I'm also going to say... 10. 10? God. I'm also going to say that the person, the chick in the middle is Erica Heinance or something. Like Heinance, Heinance. He finished 11th. In 08. You know what, dude? He doesn't care. He's there. He's not there for It doesn't metal. matter. He's there to fuck the house down. Fuck the village down. Can you... Is it... Who's in, who's in the middle there? I'm saying no, that the name's no Erica name, Hinans or some shit. Oh, you know, there's no names? I'll have a crack. There's Come no on. Names. She's, she's definitely not part of the team. There's she's, no way. She's almost... No she's athlete, close to showing nipple. Well, no athlete's ever been that attractive. No disrespect to athletes. It's more just about how hot that cheese. Let's keep moving. Kai Hurst is giving her a run. Wow. Uh, what is so the... Athens... That's that's that not the like Athens sporting. Law. No, that looks like that's <laughs> like who the doing. fuck's that bloke? Okay, okay. Oh, well, this, that's, what, that are feels taking, two, oh, what are you taking the piss out of fucking Kathy there? That I feels two thousands. Let me try and find the actual two thousand and four one. Yeah. It just looks like the tracksuit. Shit, those backpacks, dude. Nice, really cool. See at the skate park sort of stuff. 
Who Same are? with that little zip up green jacket. No, 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 no. The belt does it all. Oh, that's meet me at the skate park. Look at park. that belt, bro. That's me getting a, a wristy that is, at the skate park. Yeah, that's uh that's uh oh you got your you got your S M P off? Yeah. Why don't I give you a hand job? Skate park handies. <laughs> Let's go to the mall, get a boost juice, go to the skate park, and then I'll give you a handy at the movies. You know what? You swap out a you swap out a boost juice for a V. Go to the go to the because what you're really doing is you go to the skate park, you get in a V. You probably get one of those Mars bars where there's like free Mars bar inside. Yeah, but but it, but, it, but in regional centres when when boost juice went in. Yeah, see when I used to skate. Now obviously I never got a hand job at the skate park. Probably well, there'll be a multitude of reasons for why that is. Uh, Maybe the most notable being there were no women there, but it was V's and it was Mars bars. Remember, you get the free Mars bar. Do I remember you got the free Mars? Dude, bar? they were one of the one like, in six. Tom, one in six and, wins. And I honestly think that they were truthful there. They could have lied. No, to a no, of no, no, no. I they think they were one in six. Mate, I've I've been I've been in towns playing footy, and I've gone two in a row. Bang, bang. I honestly think that may be how I got addicted to sugar. Because sometimes I'd hit three Marsies in a row. Bulls, and I'm fucking bulls, pounding them. Bulls. Mate, the best thing that Mars Bar ever did for Mars Bar, which no one eats anymore. When was the last time you saw someone a pounding a Mars Bar? Full and honest and pure. Yeah, no, I'd listen. A true blue Australian Mars Bar. I'm talking the real McCoy, the big boy. Yeah. Not that fucking not the small shit. Fa favorite sort of one. No, no, no. Which is like a, not even, it's what that's called a mozo. A mo moro. A moro. Which is a Mars Bar in sheep's clothing, though. Correct, let's Tom. be honest. When's the last time you nipped down the store and got yourself a big, honest Australian Mars bar to go to fucking town on? I, look, I couldn't tell you, but I will say this. I know, without knowing, I know that for nostalgia reasons, I'll do it every once in a while. But I'm more, like, even with pods, which is a real poison of mine. You, 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 you'll go the old school Mars well, bar? No, but I have done, I would when say, was once the last, in the last year. When was the last time you ate a... A uh, uh, regulation, honest, original Mars bar. I couldn't tell you. I'd say maybe in the last year. Anyone in this room? I'm more of a Snickers or a Cherry Ripe guy. I'm a can Snickers you buy them anymore? No, you can. I don't I, see them. I'm a Snickers guy. That's the thing. I am really a Snickers guy. Tell you what I am. The I've seen Mars bar is in pods. Do you know what I am? Yeah. Like, got its claws into me. Can I guess? If I get fuel, I'm getting it. Is it a bounty? No. Um, all right. Obviously, we oh, know yeah. of my my love affair for curly welly squirrelies. Yeah, I'm talking just a. Summer. I'm talking about a just a chocolate Kit Kat. Mm. No. Twirl. Oh, yeah. twirl! I fucking <laughs> love twirls. <laughs> <laughs> I will be honest with the punter and the dribbler. I can't say no to twirls. Really? No. Nah. Did we get sent twirls relatively? We got twirl bites. Okay, not the same thing, but they're still pretty good. Twirl, you know what a twirl is just a flake, but covered. It's, it's like a, it's a it's twirl like with like a tarp around it. Well, it's, it's a tarped, it's a tarped up, up, it's a tarped up twirl. twirl. No, tarped it's a tarped up, up, tarped up flake. It's a tarped up flake. The problem with the flake is it flakes off. Too flaky. Too flaky. It's honestly, it's doing its job too they've well. taken the They've taken all the great things about a flake which were revolutionary, by the way. That's why they're still in <laughs> yeah. uh, McFlurries today. Nothing changed the game like a flake. Yeah. A flake turned up and just questioned everything you'd ever known about chocolate bars. <laughs> it did. It did, because it was like... It was hey, like it was like vanilla Coke. It was like, what the fuck? Well, it was like, it's like, a, it was like a deconstructed chocolate bar. Here, we've, we've, we've done, we're half done. We're just serving this thing up half finished. It's flaking all, it's up. Flaking all over. It's you fucking time staying your in your shirt. You basically have to house the whole thing and just suck on it for dear life. <sighs> you've got to, you've got to be, you've got to be part eating machine, part sucking machine. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, try and get all the and yeah, don't flip that. Uh, That's pat, a real, that was a dick suck. I didn't mean that, but unfortunately, no, you pat it in. You pat it. You pat it in. You pat it in. That, and then the twirl comes along. And goes, let's take the twirl, cover it to give it some safety, wrap this thing up. Yeah, it's a flake with it's an it's a flake with OH and S like sort of protocol. It's a disease free flake. Yeah. Well, it's a red tape flake. You know what I mean? The flake is you don't need harnesses when you're doing roofing. Yep. And then the twirl is someone fell off the roof and we've got to make this thing safe. So if I nip in there and uh ten thanks, mate. 
and he craps on about flybys and yeah, fucking. Are you a member of this? He's... No, I'm not. But you know what I'm looking at? You know what I'm staring at? Yeah. I'm staring at that, that twirl at eye line that's just winking at me and stuff. Twirl's also it. double barrel, you like can, a Twix? You, well, they're double barrel, but you can also get the four pack. Nice. You can get a four pack twirl, which I'd recommend because. Straight down. Four of them. Yep. Fucking delicious. I'd assume a four pack, probably slightly less than a pack of pods. Where mm. this is where I go. Where no, I like pods are pods are a different cat. That's where I. But that's where I struggle. It's like, could I just get a Kit Kat and enjoy it? Or some twirls, four pack and enjoy it, or a Twix and enjoy it's it. Called a double pack. Sorry. Or do I get a packet of Snickers pods, or Twix pods, or Mars bar pods if there's nothing else? Snickers the best, I think. Comfortably, and I sit there, and on the way from the studio to my home, mm. and let's be honest, halfway home, I absolutely fucking murder a packet of pods, and then I start to. F- Feel shame, but is that more than four twirls? I don't know. I, I think it would be. It, it probably is. Tully would be able to tell us. I tell you, I, <clears throat> I like to hide my shame though. Same. So I'll take I'll take the wrappers from my twirls. Sometimes I'll accumulate. They'll build up over time. Yeah. Maybe I'll hide them with like a, a letter or something. And then you know when the time's right, when it's opportunistic enough, I'll I'll carry. My ball of, of shame, of shame, and I'll put it in the bin and maybe cover it with something so Ella doesn't open the bin to throw out something and see, and see my ball, ball of shame. shame. I also do that. See now the do it with Maccas as well. Do fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Which has always been dude, my kryptonite. Got back from the hacker, uh, man. Street got Maccas on the way back from the hacker, and as I got home and got out of the Uber, I jammed that shit into the bin outside. You go to the outside bin. That's a real I'm t- sh- No, I'm talking outside bin. Yeah. I, um, shame bin. Also, if you want to hide your balls of shame, punters and dribblers, I don't mind an empty coffee cup. Lid off, shame in, <laughs> lid back on. Because no one's opening a coffee cup inside a bin. You'd have to be a sick fuck to do Tell that. what else is good for shame. Under the back seat, the passenger seat, and then offloaded it when you're in the office. Yeah. You know? No harm, no foul. I've fucked up with my shame balls as well a few times because Ella's caught me on shark. She's caught me many times, and that's why I'm so careful. Yeah. Until twelve hours ago, we only had one car. Now we currently have no car. But when we only had one car, also makes it hard, harder to hide shame. So if you're like you're getting into your shame work, and then you just jam it down the side, and then you forget about it. Next thing you know, Steph's walking in with a ball of your shame. She's not necessarily throwing the shame in your face, but she's... Why is she carrying it? Why are you carrying it in there? You could have just put it in the so outside. Saw this in bin. the car. Why don't you clean the car out? I know, yeah. You're not saying clean the car out. You're saying, you're saying hide your shame. Yeah, hide your shame. I don't want to see your shame. Don't fucking make your shame so obvious. Ella once was like, why have you got so many Cadbury ice cream wrappers down here? And I said, well, I went through a bit of a phase. <laughs> I went through a bit of a phase uh, where the the Cadbury ice cream, which is a Magnum ripoff, but it's Cadbury chocolate and Cadbury ice cream, in my opinion, superior to the Magnum, okay. got the better of me. And yes, there are little bits of chocolate scattered throughout the vanilla ice cream. It fucked me up to the point where I'd be pulling in just to get one. <laughs> you know? I've... um. I've got a. I've actually got a shame admission. Now that we're fucking here, like bearing shame. So you know how last night you said what'd you have for dinner? And you said a pizza. I said a pizza. <laughs> I actually, I had a pizza, <laughs> and also a gnocchi bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> gnocchi. Yeah, dude. So dude, feeling, gnocchi dude. Is smacky <laughs> as fuck. So I started off with the gnocchi. <laughs> Do and we, then were, I, you, were you wrapping the pizza around the gnocchi? No, no, no. I was eating the gnocchi and then I was having a bit of pizza. Then I had like a sip of red wine and then I'm having a bit of whatever. No chocky? No. Surely. 
Did I have any chocolate? There was some leftover ice cream in the fridge, but in terms of like, but it wasn't like a real feature of the meal. It was like there was. It was well, I just, I just. It was inconsequential to how like disastrous the night was. No, I completely get that. In terms of a shame eat. But if I'm eating gnocchi and I'm eating a pizza and I'm drinking red wine, I need sugar. Yes. Well, trust me, I was fucking. I was searching high and low for some sugar, but so when (laughs) when I get the call at three in the morning to to hear that uh, there's you know. Uh, to hear that shit's going down. I've ordered my Uber. I have 12 minutes, hop in the shower, freshen myself up. As I'm leaving, I see a bag of empty Uber Eats with a pizza box and gnocchi in there. Shame brain kicks in (laughs) and I run back in and grab it (laughs) and then take it out and pop it into the bin garbage last night. Shame free. So even under the pump, even under the even under the the fucking absolute rugby league pump, I'm I'm managing my shame risk. <laughs> you have to though, yeah, and do. that's a man who's been caught out more times than he likes to acknowledge, mm-hmm. because we've all been there. If you are hiding your shame diligently, then you don't feel it. You only feel it when you look in the mirror. It means you've been caught. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so a bag of Snick- uh, Snickers pods is two and a half times a four pack of twirl. Yeah, felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> Punters and dribblers, the chance is still there for you to come and play golf with Eddie and myself. Oh, it's there, baby. You and three mates at Shorty's Golf Course. Uh, oh, yeah. Par three. It is the greatest course in town, Shorty's. Um, all you got to do is buy a six pack of Big Day Rosé from hellosport.shop to go in the running month of April. We pick two winners, and so each of you winners get to bring along three of your mates to play golf with us at Shorty's. At a separate time. Obviously not the same day. Uh, we play golf at Shorty's. We hang out. We drink. We enjoy ourselves. Maybe watch a bit of rugby league, depending on what day we can work out. But it'll be all on us the day you have to get there yourself, unless you're on the way, and then we'll pick you up on a limo. Pretty good deal. Pretty good fucking deal. It's a great deal. And we'll drop you home. We won't drop you home. We'll drop you home to that same spot. Yeah. If that makes sense. Or we just, you know, we'll work that bit out. We'll iron out the creases. But if you want to play golf with Eddie and myself at Shorty's. And have a time. Have a good time. you got to buy just a single case of Big Day Rosé. You can buy yep. multiple if you want. But a single case will do. Months. Six pack of Big Day Rosé, month of April. We'll draw it next month. And good times will be had by all. Correct. Hello, Sport Touch Up. Hey, boys. I forgot to bring in last weekend. I... Ran the hill to harbour here in Newcastle, and uh, there was merch fucking everywhere. Saw a bunch of you know the white cords and the rosé cords and bloody beers soon shirt and bloody blow cat. But I really wanted to give a shout out to one couple in particular. One was wearing the white cord, the other was wearing the rosé cord, and a particular shout out to the male, the bloke in this couple who, having had all the time in the world to prepare himself for this race, which was 12 kilometres, about 200 metres in, needed to pull up and tie his fucking shoelace and his missus had to stand there and just look at him thinking, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, have a good one. So is that 200 metres tw- into a... 200 metres into, into a, a 12k race. He had to stop off his laces. Such like doofus shit, you know what I mean? Where you just like... Uh, you know, you're like you're you're a klutz. But I, I just I really love that you both in your regalia, you and the missus. Yeah. I feel sorry for her though, because she's got to wait for you to type your fucking laces. But that's it, right? Like you're making her look bad. Very bad. Not very bad. That's that's over the it's top. It's not very bad, but you you look like a dork. Listen, you made a dribble. You know what I mean? Someone's yeah. called in about you. Correct. That's how fucking yeah. weird it was. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Good like, stuff, if it, like it wasn't normal. No. What happened? 200 metres in, like, hey, dude, get your laces sorted before you Get your up. laces sorted, mate. What are we doing? Get your laces sorted, mate. What the fuck? Like, there's nothing that makes you look more ridiculous than walking around with your shoelaces undone. Get like, your you, laces sorted. When you see people that either, like, don't notice or their shoelaces come undone all the time, you're like, fuck, dude, you're a mess. You're an absolute fucking rugby league mess. Get your laces sorted. Do you remember like kids in your year at school? Like they'd always walk around with their shoes undone. You're like, can we just tie our shoes up, please? Can we? 
I'd like that. On we go. G'day, boys. I've got a little bit of a scat story for you. So, to preface this story, this is about you know, 10 years ago. I would have been about year 11 in school. Now, at my house, I just live with my dad and my dog. We sort of had the house type where we just left all the doors open. Like, never locked the house, pretty much like that, right? So I'm sitting in, in my room uh, on my laptop or something back then on Facebook. You know, I hear a bit of a noise, a bit of a noise in the house and I'm just sitting in my room, right? And I just think it's my dad, like, I don't know, he come home or something like that. Didn't, didn't think much of him. <clears throat> and so, about an hour later, my dad gets home. So it's all on my house. Fuck, I thought you were already home, Dad. And he, he walks past my bedroom and goes to the bathroom. He's like, fuck, mate, what's that smell? And now this, this bathroom is degraded. It's not a, it doesn't have a toilet or anything. And so you're like, fuck, I can smell it too. What the hell's that? Looking around, looking around. Closing a couple of the drawers in the, in the vanity. Some kind of taking a big shit in one of those drawers. <laughs> and me and my dad are like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I said to him, mate, I, I thought you were home already. About an hour ago. No, 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 he wasn't. And to this day, we never ever found out who it was. So, yeah. Pretty fucked up. True story. So, so someone's walked into his house and just shit in the vanity yeah, drawer. Yeah, just quickly, for those who couldn't hear uh, that guy calling from underwater. Well, it's, it, it sounded to me like he had a ball gag in. It was very difficult to understand. It took all of my brain power, as mighty as it is. Uh, so someone's come into his house and taken a shit in a drawer in the bathroom. Well, like that's that's what it sounds like. That's a saboteur. So it's basically it's so basically your situation today. Yep, less the ceiling of the car, less the balaclava, less the room, but out of shit. In a less vanity. the weapons. Well, there's a bio weapon, but out of shit in a drawer. Yeah, but like that's a you when there's when there is a toilet so nearby, and you opt for the drawer, like once you're in the bathroom. If you really need to shit, there's like no excuse for for like you can't be like, oh my god, it was just coming so quickly, I had to shit in the drawer. It's like, you well, know what I mean? so 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 it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a biological attack. Well, we were trying to realize, we were trying to sort of come to terms. Dave Chappelle. We we're trying to come to terms with why people would steal cars just to thrash. Is it just? Is it just? Uh, yeah. Is it a thrill? Well, that's like, isn't there some, wasn't there some, like, there was some video of some chick around the eastern suburbs who was just, like, shitting outside people's houses every day? That's what I'm saying. Maybe there is a super, super duper thrill attached to the fact that you sneak into people's houses and shit in their drawer. There was a poo jogger. Poo jogger, that's what I'm thinking of. I think poo jogger was going after PR Queen Roxy Jasenko. Didn't like her, the cut of her jib. So it would shit out the front of her office, potentially. You got to really not like someone to put yourself under that sort of pressure, right? You under do that sort of heat. Anyway, that's disturbing. And to not know, to still not know, like, what do you do with that drawer? That drawer's got to get replaced, doesn't it? You throw the drawer out. You throw out the drawer. Drawer's gone. See your drawer. Bye bye, drawer. Yeah, ta ta. Ta ta. Tom, Eddie, Totes, Tobler, Punters and Dribblers. It's the uh, 30 year old loves his lawn dribbler here. Um, firstly, thank you for letting me know that I'm now an old man. Um, second of all, just listening to 618 and you've questioned why the Vietnamese have an affinity for bread. Um, a bit of info for you here. I believe Vietnam was a French colony oh. um, prior to Civil War, potentially. Um, not sure of the details there, but no, it was definitely a French colony. And the French taught them to bake, hence why the uh, Vietnamese smashed some good bread and pies. Hooray. Cheers. Bye. Listen, I don't want to I don't want to say this. Like, I'd need to, and maybe there's something we do where we do a fucking French v. Vietnamese bread off. But, like, have the French, have the Vietnamese taken the ball from and the run French with it? and run with it? 
Potentially. Like we, the baguette's undefeated, but fuck, friend, uh, Vietnamese bread rolls are good. There's been a lot of comments in the uh, sort of DMs and in the YouTubes, etc. I think what it could be, Tom, is that our positioning relative to our Asian neighbours is a lot closer than it is to Europe. So we get a lot of Asian influence. For example, our Vietnamese is fucking elite. Yeah. Our Japanese, fucking elite. Mm-hmm. Our fucking Chinese is outrageous. Yep. Our Indonesian, second to none. We are Salamapagi, dr- bruh. We are drowning over here in the cuisine of the Southeast Asian and the Asian generally. Mm. And shout out to all of you for yep. your phenomenal work. Yeah. Ty, pff, sorry for forgetting you. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. We're hey. better for ha- we're better uh, as just a, as a species, let alone just Australian uh, Australians, for having that cuisine at our shores. Hundred percent. But what I'm trying to say is we don't have a whole lot of uh, European uh, cuisine at our doorstep here, so I'm not no. going to get into a punch on between Vietnamese bread and French bread. I'm prepared to though. If there's somewhere that like makes really good French bread, and it's not hard to find a place that makes good Vietnamese bread, I'm happy to like. I think I've got. I've got the ability within me to fucking make that call. French bread, Vietnamese bread. Like baguettes though, dude. <sighs> Fuck, dude. Baguettes will get you going. Like I've had shit barn maize, but it's never the bread's fault. No. It's usually... Put it that way. No. Never it's, the bread's fault. It's not the barn, it's usually the me. <laughs> yeah. You've never had a shit barn. The me on the other hand questionable anyway let's maybe move on tom eddie dior tobler it's the uh, big black bull dribbler here uh running a few episodes behind but on your talk about the quest for loads um we breed and sell a few bulls and um to guarantee them you've got to uh, much like the big gurino go and check that the swimmers are all good um and of course you can't just chuck a bull in the yard and ask him to look at the heifer and just you know get into his work um so what they actually do is you get the vet out and you get this big probe that looks like a big missile and shove it up their ass. And the vet's got a little dial there and there's two electrodes on the probe that send a shock, will send a rate of electricity through his prostate and make him jizz in the cup, basically. Um, so, yeah, I was asking the vet about it and he said that technology was actually developed for our um, quadriplegic and paraplegic uh, dribblers out there to get a load off. So uh, that's some technology for you um, in the pursuit of loads. Wow. So that's beer soon. Took you 13 plus. So road trip was correct. Right. Well, road trip was sort of correct because they weren't sticking electrodes up Stifler's butt. But you could be, you can, you can, you can, you can fiddle with a prostate and get a result. Yeah, you can get a result, but I think they're saying electrodes was more the go, or I guess that was for quadriplegic, paraplegic, where they couldn't feel the, the fiddling. The, prostate, with the a, prostate's up to something. But what I'm saying is whereas like able body, you'd be able to feel it. Yes. No, what I'm trying to say is that I think there is a cheat code. Clearly. Interesting. So road trip was correct. Road trip was correct. All this time, road trip yeah. was right. It'd be a weird gig, wouldn't it, pleasuring bulls? Should, like, do they enjoy it? Surely they enjoy it. Maybe they don't. Do we, are we the only ones that enjoy it? Or us and no, dolphins, or dolphins enjoy it. I think, I think our, uh, our close cousins... The orangutan, the which ones has which one has orgies? Not the chimpanzee, do they? No, no, no. The is the, the one where the women are the pro the bonobo. The, the bonobo. <laughs> yeah. Bonobos the bonobo. get fucking damn. You can't have them in zoos anymore because no. they just growl each other out. Yeah. They're just fucking. They yeah, like they they have full on gangbangs yeah, and shit. And they're like, you, you want to look at the Kama Sutra? They're every position, like just a, a fucking. Lazy Susan of just growling out reverse reverse monkey girl, you know what I mean? Like you go and see the bonobo, and you know it's it's on for you. It's soft young core. Girls. Not even, it's actually hardcore. Soft core. Hardcore hairy porn. Imagine um, going to see the bonobos with your fucking with your children. One yeah. of them was getting growled out at yeah. twelve o'clock in the afternoon. Well, the other one's just plowing someone's bum hole. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, yeah. that's that's yeah. that's a lot. It's a lot for a young che- for a young family. Correct. Shout out to our cousins, our kin, the bonobo. Yep. Love your work. Last one? Yep. Boys, just want to agree with Eddie. 
looks at the sun for a second and it fucking burn my eyelids. I got a couple of messages about this. I love that people are out there looking at the sun. I got a couple of messages about this. Uh, our good friend, dear friend of the show, Toby Locke, was like, fuck Burma, he's an idiot. I'm Team Eddie, read the sun. Yeah, but what? what's he talking about? Like, of course you don't look at the sun. But no, is no. the sun worse when it's an eclipse? You That's said, what I wanted to know. No, no, that wasn't it. You said you could look at the sun with sunnies on. Mm, you can. <laughs> For a second. That guy next. was like, I just looked at the sun. If you're bareback in the sun, you mean the center of the you fucking can't galaxy? Uh, you can't stare at the sun with Center of the galaxy on. or center of the solar system? Solar system. You're bare back in the center of the solar system, it's going to fuck you up. With sunnies, a little less. With those fucking eclipse glasses, you're good to go, apparently. What I was confused by is, is the eclipse, mm. is the whatever's going on there, mm. does that make the sun like more punchy? No, it still is. It's equally as punchy. It's just the same. Same. Right. It's so and it would be, it'd be, it'd, it'd, obviously, it'd obviously be diminished because some of it's covered. But it's still the, the bits that are getting through. But like the people who are like, I can't look at the sun for a second. Like, ah, it's like, relax, dude. You can. It's just like, don't do it for very long. And if you've got sunnies on. Oh, you, you wouldn't be able to look it. at the sun bareback. You, you, could, you can't bareback the sun. Could, I was never coming on here on my own show. How long do you reckon you could bareback the sun for? Fucking 10 seconds max. And reckon, that's probably too long. I reckon two. Barebacked. Two max. It wouldn't be good for you. Apparently the Egyptians, this is a way to finish, if you'd fucked up or they wanted to kill you, wanted to get rid of you, this, this is, I heard this, I'm not, I'm not anti-Egyptian, we're, we're going back to antiquity here, different people, different time. They would like, they'd, they'd pin you down in the desert and cut off your eyelids and just pin you so you were staring at the sun, you couldn't avoid it. That's a tough way to go. That's a tough way to go. While we're on the Egyptians and the ancients and antiquity, uh, as I'm driving up to fucking Boomerang Beach of Boomerang Tari, fame. Tari Teen Thievery fame, what should drop into my fucking podcast uh, thing? But uh, Graham Hancock v this v an archaeologist Flint Dibble on Rogan, so they're going hammer and tong at it. Four hour episode. I'm fucking three and a bit. Oh, they're it. punching on. Yeah, like they're they're, they're like debating. Debate. Did you they're like debating. it? Mate, it's good. Oh, is it too and much yelling? No, no, fuck no, no. Most of it's not yelling, but it's it's definitely interesting. I've come out of it de like. Are you, have you come out of it less Graham Hancock? To be honest, I was always, and I've, you can check any fucking tape here, is I've always said the thing that I respected most about Hancock was that he wasn't saying it was true. He was just saying, here's an alternate theory that maybe deserves a little more exploration. But I've certainly, from listening to this guy, just been... I've just been almost, it's just reinforced how fucking undecided I am about it. But that the archaeologists have way more fucking, have way more to say than, you know. Than anyone's let on. Than anyone's let on. But then the, the main, the main like point that Hancock, the, I think where Hancock's fucked up in this thing was because he's been so like ridiculed in the media, he feels, I think he feels a little bit bitter. Jaded. About the way that he's been portrayed. But like they're portraying him as like, there's like saying he's a racist, da, 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 like all this shit, which isn't true. So he's a little bit more like, he's part, he's, he's arguing but points. Are we, but where, is, where are his points, are his points landing or he's, are they getting diminished? No, 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 they're not getting completely diminished. What, what he's like, I think his main core point is that of the uh, continental shelf, which was above ground before the ice age only five percent of the, what is now underwater has been uh looked at so fuck all of like 20 something million hectares square whatever underwater has been uh, has been excavated of the sahara it's like one percent which at the time when they're referring to was a lush verdant fucking and then the amazon so he's just basically going like he's saying like his whole thing is basically like two to say that there is no way that an ancient civilization existed when this is the amount you've actually looked. Did they is, talk did they talk pyramids? Um, they're just getting to it. They're just getting to it. But what this guy is talking what the archaeologist is talking about is he's like the sheer amount of um of like uh hunter gatherer of evidence of hunter gatherer tribes that we found. Uh, arrowheads, fucking bones, all these different like the fact that we found all of this shit from those times and nothing yeah 
that like your I was I was I've never ever 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 been camp we've lost a huge civilization never because the, p- p- purely because of population we'd never had the population to sustain advancement that has been described well never. the that's not what necessarily known though because what the argument would be there is that the the the, the, the argument to that would be that the uh, fucking asteroidal impact that these guys hypothesized happened wiped out all that population. So that's where, that's where you go. Like, well, yeah, but it wouldn't get if you had if you had if you had population strong enough to justify the technological advancement, then we wouldn't get wiped out. Also, the technological thing is a is a mis is misinterpreted. He's he's get, it just moved in a different direction. What he's talking about is he's not saying it's like super technological advance where it's like. Um, his whole argument again. This is what he's like. Clarifies this on this potty. He's not saying like, oh, these guys are fucking. They weren't like. Uh, there's no evidence of metallurgy, right? Like they weren't. It's not like they were building this shit with metals. It wasn't like they had like fucking rockets. It wasn't that. But they had a really complex understanding of like the of the stars and of different things. Mm. Which and, they clearly did. Which they clearly did, right? But. You, he, you know, the whole thing of like, how, the, where's the where's the technology to build these fucking huge, huge megaliths come from? I just, I go back to, for example, the best scientists in Australia, for example, with the technology at the time in 1969, wouldn't be able to put man on the moon. They wouldn't be able to do it because they, they don't they don't have the resources of the Americans at the time, which is like three percent, four four percent of GDP put into something. Yeah, what? So what I'm it? saying. So what I'm saying is, if Elon Musk had, a, he dedicated a specific amount of resources to figuring out how the Egyptians did it, he'd be able to do it. But there's no fucking benefit to doing that. Like, there's no benefit for any other nation to work out how did America send people to to the moon. There's no benefit to working it out. Like would, the resources, the resources dedicated to doing it are so they're, they're considerable. Well, potentially, potentially. So, like, though, so the resources dedicated by the Americans to sending men to, moon, to the moon were mm. fucking considerable. So considerable that no one's ever gone back. That's how considerable it was. Yeah, but that doesn't um, that, necessarily mean that that's the same amount required. It's also no, but not, it, no, but but it, but it but it does imp- what it does implies this is that even. In a world where some people could do it and others uh, and and no one else could, that still exists today. That if you were to use the resources of the time, figuring out how Americans sent men to the moon with the resources of the time, just like the resources of ancient Egyptians, takes considerable fucking effort and resources to figure out. Sure, I guess. So why would you bother? Well, I. Why would you bother looking into like so? Human, so for, no, for like, example, for why exa- would you bother looking into like human history? For example, why would you bother looking into anything? For for example, Australia right now, with the resources of the time that Americans had, would not be able to think about this. Australians right now, with the resources the American has, probably couldn't go to the moon, even now. Okay, you, let's. I'm. Sure, I'm just not entirely understanding the. So, 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 what I'm trying to say is that yeah, it may it may be confusing to us as to how the Egyptians did it, but we don't have the fucking resources to figure it out because there's no incentive to do so. Well, but that's wouldn't you say that that would be true of would be true of like anything heaps of shit. You're right. So like heaps of shit. That's 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 true of heaps of shit. Right. So, but like understanding human history and There's life no one's on pain, the planet, but no one's paying for that shit. No, of course not. That's what that's they're absolutely not. That's one of the things that they're talking about. Is that like uh, that? I wish like, they did. Yeah, of course. But so like funding that shit. But that doesn't the fact that people aren't prepared to pay for it doesn't mean that does not mean that the current um, understanding of how something's done is is incorrect or correct right like so if people are going hey the way that your the what your explanation for this doesn't seem correct based on xyz let's just say like how the pyramids are made the fact that the fact that you like can't justify the cost on working it out but so it, doesn't but it'd, be, it'd be just, like doesn't mean you just go like well okay let's just let's just it'd be it'd be is, like it'd be like saying oh okay elon musk he fucking he created a he created a a battery powered car 
how the fuck did he did he produce that at scale and make it efficient? Well, I don't fucking know. We know he did it. We don't know how he did it. You, I do. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but I don't because basically you can look at the technology of the time right now and you can see how he's done it. Other people can explain how they did it using the technology of the conventionally understood. No, no, but once that's but time. once that's lost over time. You people can't. Of course, but so then don't people you can't th- explain. Right, but people can't explain. Of course, just but like, don't you just think like, that's fucking insane? That but potentially, mate, but people can't explain on, to you right now on, how we went to the moon. Hold on, hold on. People can though. But what I'm saying is, given the world that we live in now, where you can send shit to Mars, or you can no, fucking, no, 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 no. You, you can't. People, no, no. But can what I'm saying, so, people, people, can I finish a thought? When you can send a, a fucking rover to Mars. Right now. But no one knows how to do that. Right. Well, exactly. But people well, people do. No, they don't. One person does. Two people do. Okay. So, but two the rest, people so if someone doesn't explain it, no one I, knows how to do it. For the public record, still haven't finished a thought. Um, the fact that humans can send rovers to Mars right now, the fact that, let's say, Elon can send a rover to Mars and someone in Russia can understand how he's fucking done it. The fact that... No, that, they, they don't understand. The fact that they've that got can, no idea. The fact that that can happen. So, can Russian have Russians been to space? Let's just use space. No, 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 no. Okay, do you re- do you reckon? No, do you reckon people know serious? how Elon does it? Hold on, let's go space. Let's go way. Can Russians go to space? Yes. yes. Can China go to space? Yes. Can India go to space? Yes. Can America go to space? There was five or four there that can go to space. So there's four different fucking nations that know how to do something pretty hectic. The fact that they all know how to do that independently. And they have, and there's no one that's able to explain how a bunch of hunter gatherers built a fucking pyramid six thousand, maybe more years ago. Would speak to potentially, not even speak to. It may indicate that there is some sort of technology that's unexplained. Because or, no one is look, because no one has put effort into working right, it out. But there is a benefit to working that out. Who? If, who? That's not, it's not a who question. What I'm saying is that you could argue... There's no benefit to knowing. You've got to stop talking over me. There's, you could argue that there might be a benefit to understanding it if there is a way to do something like that that we currently don't have the fucking technology for. Mate, it's another way of doing something. What I'm saying is the best minds on the planet are not fucking focused on I who built the pyramids. That's exactly. Not, yeah, of course. Exactly. We were in agreement. So, so, so when, when archaeologists and shit talk to us about, oh, we don't know, it's like because the, the, no one close to the smartest people on the planet are working out how right. they did it. But what not even do, close. But what we do know is that they weren't using fucking technology of the, of, of, that we're using, so it must be something different. What I'm saying is until someone – sits down and puts resources into it i'm i'm confident we're not disagreeing on that. i'm confident that if the people of the time as in people of now go what do we think they had at their disposable i'm super confident that they could go this is probably how they did it very confidently right but like people have focused on that maybe elon musk hasn't what th- there is no current Genuinely. How many people do you reckon have genuinely fucking looked at it? Genuinely. Uh, at, at how the pyramids were built? Yeah. Like actual smart engineers and innovators, mathematicians. I think there'd be more people than you think, clearly. Uh, but I also think there'd be far less than is would be considered significant. I think there'd be enough for, uh, there'd be enough intelligent people who have looked at that to be like, geez, how have they done it? Because there's theories. There's like people going, well, maybe they fucking rolled them on st- uh, on logs. Maybe they floated them down the river. But also you could argue there's that, enough people if that it, if it, it. Was, if it was considered by enough people that have glanced at it to be absolutely fucking impossible, then it would be considered a far bigger mystery than it is. You are considered a fringe thinker, almost a bit loony if you suggest that we have no idea how they were made. There are a lot of smart people out there that are confident that they know how, which implies who, who that it can are, be okay, done. Okay, who, who are they? Are you just saying Main, that? Mainstream thought, mainstream thought is, for example, people will go, we don't know how to get to Mars. Full stop, no one knows. That's it. Everyone accepts it. But there's a lot of smart people out there, people that are arguing with Graham Hancock, for example, that mm. are confident they know how. That would suggest then... That would be in opposition to the point you just made, which is that no one's looked into how they were done. Well, no, but it would suggest that they have a that, that it would be 
what I'm trying to say is they don't know specifically how, but it's still so in the realm. No, but so it's still no in the realms knows. of possibility. Well, it's in the realms for of For example, if it was impossible for man, impossible, full stop, mm. for man to drag 2,000 ton fucking stones, impossible, full stop, then it would be in the impossible, full stop well, bracket. It's, they've been made, so it's clearly possible, and that's almost what's interesting, right? There that's the thing. So they can't. So it can be dragged. They can be done. Well, no, it, that doesn't mean that it can be dragged. It means that it can be done. How it was done is is the interesting question. And to just like to to, to dismiss it, I just find like insane. I'm and not again, dismiss, I'm not dismissing. I'm saying it's not. It's you, clearly not that impressive. In in terms of if people have clearly looked at it and gone, you can drag blocks of that size. So when people go, the blocks are this fucking big. It's so fucking wild. I'm like. If it was so wild as to it being almost impossible to do, the whole the whole mythology around it would be more profound. So I think. I think that what you're seeing now is the fact that that's where that is what's happening, where people are going. Actually, it doesn't feel like the explanation really checks out. It doesn't mean that it's that it's. They're not saying like, oh, this is absolutely wrong, but it's just saying that it does seem quite improbable. The explanation. Now I am at the reservoir tip on this podcast where they're just starting to fucking talk about uh how the it's reservoir done tip. about how like how you know not even how it's done but they're starting to debate sort of like the specifics around it and so i'll be interested to hear how it goes but it's definitely good this one in the sense that like it's definitely not like one way like i think hancock comes off a bit of a fucking a poon in some points and then this other guy like him or not He's a poon going in just because his name's fucking Flint Dibble. Like, he can't help it. <laughs> That's his name. His name's Flint Dibble and he's wearing, like, a funny hat. His name's he's like, Flint Dibble. He's wearing, like, a three-piece suit and everything. But it's uh, it's actually a good yarn. I'd, uh, I would check it out just because the, you know, a lot of the people, like, who are fucking, oh, anti-Rogan bro, like, bullshit. It's like they having fucking opposing views on there is just like, you don't get it. It's great stuff. You don't get it anywhere. And I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was sitting there driving back from fucking Boomerang, begging my family to stop talking to me so I could listen to it. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, I think that's us. Great way to finish, buddy. Great way to finish. Just a bit of robust fucking uh, <laughs> discourse. Based on absolutely no information from either of us, exactly, and d d delivered by two absolute fucking, fucking dickheads. Great term, yep, dickheads. Love you, bye. Ciao. Could you two just not talk anymore? <laughs>